maybe we can go to all you. right hello Shall everyone hello wash wash yeah i'm sorry uh we are uh 45 minutes in i forgot to click record it <laughs> sorry about that we already start the uh, porog of inasuma okay let me give you the summary of the story so far when we try to ask around Liu on how to get to Inazuma, someone point us to go talk with this, this woman, Beidou, who operate uh, a call over continental ship to let us board the ship to go to Inazuma. And her give us a, what do you call, a transaction that we have to press participate in the martial art tournament and win in order for her to allow us to board her ship to get to Inazuma. Currently we at the state that the next match gonna be a final and we try to ask around who is the final contender that we have to fight to correct some information before we start the fight with him. And look like Oh yeah, while we talking with Beidou, uh, Kasuha is also there too. And he watched us fight all the way through. And right now, I think he's gonna give us some info about the last contendant. So let's now that we're alone, let's let me start cut from to here. The of the matter. Sorry that I missed. I think I remember I click recorded. Maybe I double click it. That's why it's not recording. Is that correct? Uh, so you already know. Paimon knew that you were hinting at something from the moment we met. You've known all along. That's right. If the other contenders were to catch wind of your elemental abilities, let's just say it would cause some unwanted misunderstandings. If I'm not mistaken, you share these considerations given your reluctance to use elemental skills even in the heat of a match. But how did you know? <laughs> When I talk about that which I see or hear in you, this is not poetic symbolism at play. I mean these things in the truest sense possible. Since a young age, I have been attuned to the tidings of nature. I hear the breath of the wind and the whispers of the leaves. It is things of this nature that I also hear from within you. Nothing more. As crazy as all that sounds, somehow Paimon still believes you. My humble abilities are negligible compared to your incredible feats. To think a human could wield the elements without a vision, and not to mention your incredibly complex scent, like that of some mysterious being. Hey, stop evaluating us based on our smell! It's weird! Could Aww. you perchance enlighten me as to how you managed to obtain Wait, the if you have a really abilities? good nose... Isn't he the, the exact same with the protagonist from Demon Slayer? I don't remember his name anymore. I'm afraid I don't know either. Hmm. Extraordinary. So then, might I be so bold as to inquire how exactly it is that you learned to channel elemental energy and even wield it in combat? Um, really, we learned this from Paimon? Aw, it's nothing really. Paimon just told her whatever came to mind. It's been a long journey, and many things have happened along the way. Somehow, she just naturally learned to use the elements to it all. Honestly, even Paimon doesn't understand how it all works. Perhaps such unfathomable things are the essence of the gods and the visions they grant. However, I still wish to have the honor of seeing how you wield the elements. Perhaps it may yet reveal something to me. Of course, I too shall share with you all that I've learned. That will make it a fair exchange. Yeah, fair now enough. Then, let's test your skills. Oh, and if Shall you we? haven't noticed it yet, i in the new design. And you can see. I hope you noticed this. All right. This is a new design that all thanks to Miss Runbell. You can look at the dig at the credit. You control the elements in my Twitter. Vision. You're going to see her in the Pay no attention to me. Really I amazing work, I have to, to say. She uh, designed my sure character and also gave me this protest to use 
as a PNG. <laughs> um. Oh. Why do you have to fight lava elemental lava slam? This is not fun. Eyes on me. And you can see we can't fight that great with a fire lava slam because all my team are fire. I mean pyro. Only Beto is Electro, so it's gonna take a while, sorry about that. Especially when my team, except for Alakino, is not properly leveled at all. Alright, some good fight. Yeah, if it's not a Lava Slam, we're gonna do it quite well. Hmm. Your skills in battle are truly beyond reproach. Even with your opponent's speed, he shouldn't be able to overwhelm you. Your opponent is skilled at controlling his breathing and maintaining balance, which enables him to execute moves that many would find impossible. He relies entirely on the element of surprise to defeat his opponents. In other words, as long as you remain mindful of his ability to detect weak points, then his attack should pose no threat to you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Please, save your thanks. If anything, I should be thanking you for the opportunity to witness your command of the elements that defies all known principles. The world is a truly mysterious place, it seems, and one will always encounter that which is still unknown. You seem kind of obsessed with visions, but don't you already have your own? Why are you so intent on exploring the connection between visions and the elements? I desire to know what meaning visions have to the gods, and what influences the gods' decision to grant humans these visions. Mm. My apologies. You must be completely in the dark regarding such matters. For allowing me the honor of witnessing your mystical ways, I am willing to answer any questions you may have regarding Inazuma. Yeah, please enlighten me. So that's what you're curious about? Then allow me to tell you more. As you well know, a vision hunt decree is currently underway in Inazuma. Visions are a gift bestowed by the divine. People that have accepted this gift are now having their visions confiscated inexplicably, sometimes in circumstances that leave their original recipients dead. In the outset, mm. supposing each of the seven archons had their criteria for granting visions to living beings, then does the current Electro Archon now doubt these criteria, or even the act in and of itself? Not to mention, with no new Electro Visions having been granted for such a long time, it would seem that we can infer something of the Raiden Shogun's feelings on the matter. Aww. She sounds less like an Archon and more like a tyrant. Yeah. As far as I know, she is an Archon that pursues eternity. She will relentlessly carry out her will with no regard to what others may think or feel. Liyue's contracts are meant to benefit all who reside within Liyue. But what does Inazuma's pursuit of eternity bring to its people? It goes without saying that the people locked within Inazuma do not fare well these days. Sounds a lot like something the god you encountered in the beginning would do. Oh? Have you encountered the Electro Archon before? Uh, I'm not sure. With time, we will change. But the Shogun will remain the same. If you wish to find her, she will forever be there. There will come a day when I too shall wish to understand the answers to eternity from her. Ah, the time for your match is approaching. Oh, right! We got so distracted talking about Inazuma that Paimon forgot all about the tournament! If you have no other matters to attend to, then we can return together. Yeah, let's go Very together. Well. Let's go. I wish to see who will obtain the vision. Are you telling me I have to fight you or something? Oh, it's Beto? <sighs> Why isn't he here yet? Oh, it's Never not. Never mind. We can start not by making Kasuhara. your entrance first. Mm. Everyone, listen up! Your attention, please! 
We've reached the climax of the Crux Clash. This is the final match. We've seen many exciting battles today, and now at long last, the two finalists have emerged. Now, I'd like to introduce our first combatant. Though few have seen her, her reputation knows no bounds. Mm -hmm. She strikes fear into the heart of Osile, and the mere mention of her name causes even Fatui Harbingers to turn pale in the face. Introducing Liu's traveling hero! Wow. Yay! <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment! I'm sure everyone witnessed her thrilling match in the semifinals. But today's final round will surely take things up a notch. As for our other combatant, uh, he still hasn't arrived. Hello, Wood. Hello, Come welcome on, to the stream. How so are you long? today? You can't just forfeit for not showing up. We like try in to get our rounds. ticket to board <laughs> a ship the to Inazuma right now. Apologies, everyone, just sit tight. Come on, forfeit him. <laughs> Maybe they got a match time mixer. They've got no other choice. If he doesn't show up, we'll just have to postpone the match. Really? Something doesn't seem right about this. Captain Beto, perhaps we thank should you, check on the Thank you, thank you. This is the new design, as you can see. Travel. I really love this Come design. All thanks to the run, Miss Runbell. Uh, what do you have to do again? Oh, don't tell me they stole the vision. Let me see. It's gone, all right. The vision is missing. Ah, huh? so they don't want to Did fight. Did somebody steal it? Who would dare do such a thing in broad daylight? We don't know when it was taken exactly. <laughs> I never thought that someone here would have the guts to cross Captain Beto. No need to worry. Even the craftiest sleight of hand does not escape nature's watchful gaze. Hmm. The culprit has only acted recently. They will not have gotten far. The vision was the prize that I had offered, and it was my responsibility to look after it. I will be certain to get it back. Okay. Well, if you insist, I'll leave the matter to you then. I'll stay here and try to offer some explanation to all the spectators that came to see the match. If you would, please come with me. Well, my opening was a no-show anyway. Uh, but we're <laughs> on an island! Where could he have possibly run to? Come with me. Yeah, don't like we, have, we don't have to fight him coming. in the tournament. We can just beat him up outside. Because this is tournament that not allow us to use our skill. I mean, our elemental skill. We can just use uh, a wind current. normal attack. The winds have come at an opportune moment. Let's seize this chance. Oh, okay, I miss. Ride the winds upward. From there, we can continue our search for clues. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get in here. Yeah, I go too high again. Is it you? By the way, what made you suddenly think of Maybe not. In the first place? I heard it. The okay, not it you. Stolen. Well, then why didn't you stop him? You'll see shortly. Uh huh. The winds are guiding us forward. Uh -huh. The culprit is on the opposite shore now. This is quite suspicious, Kazuha. What are you planning right now? What does it sound like? <laughs> Hubris. This way. Follow me. There may be an ambush waiting for us up ahead, but I trust that you are well prepared for such a scenario. Uh, I see them. Uh, I gonna run out of time though. Is it really doable? Huh? Really? Hoarders, they're here! Get them! Oh, okay. Treasure hoarders, just as I expected. In which case, please stand back. Too late now, Hasuha. Really late. <laughs> um, over there. Hello. You caught up with me? How is that possible? I had even prepared a boat to ensure a quick getaway, and still you caught up to me. Mm -hmm. No boat could ever match the speed of the wind. The wind? What are you talking about? Oh, I get it. Your vision. Drat! 
if I only had a vision. Or if I could activate this one, then you'd never be able to catch me. This has nothing to do with visions. You may be skilled at vanishing from a crowd, but it seems you know precious little about how to conceal yourself from nature's gaze. Additionally, your chosen escape route was flawed for reasons that are too numerous to go into. And on top of that, I could hear your boasting. <laughs> he just say you are so dumb, you are as I was pursuing you. Escaping plan. In other words, you failed to meet any of the basic criteria for a grand heist. Namely speed, stealth, and style. You you! But most disappointing of all is the state of the vision in your hand. It appears that the vision doesn't respond to human desire indiscriminately. Fine! Fine! I admit it. I've had my eyes on this vision for quite some time now. I decided to register after hearing that this fighting contest was full of a bunch of lousy fighters. I fought my way to the finals and... Aha! So you were supposed to be our opponent! It fight! I'd intended to win the contest through skill alone all along. But then you showed up. After watching the semi-finals, I knew that I didn't stand a chance. But I wasn't about to give I mean, up you on can the try. vision so easily right. after coming all this way. Since there was no use in trying to face you in the match, I decided to put my skills to good use while everyone's attention was on you and Beto. I was convinced I prepared thoroughly for my escape, but somehow you still managed to catch up to me. Okay, now hand over the vision. After all I went through to get it? I think not. Um... Really? You got you want to get beat up? R really? Well, yeah. If you keep up the vision, we'll let you go. Fine, but you'd better mean it. It didn't activate once I took it anyway. It's nothing but a useless shell to me. You know, according to the laws of the sea, the penalty for stealing is breaking the culprit's arms. Um. Huh? You're not serious, are you? Not to mention that the item you stole was a prize. You didn't show up for the final match, and you damaged the reputation. Oh yeah, they the got his name right. Fleet. In order to go into the competition, you need to, to register yourself. On your forehead with a hot iron. Whoa, whoa! We don't need to go that far, do we? <sighs> I never would have guessed you could be so cruel. If this is where talking gets me, then forget it. I'll risk a fight. Why, Hatsu? Huh? Why you need to trigger him? <laughs> My revenge eventually. Um, sorry about that. No, no, do what you want, but please don't brand my forehead. Please, <sighs> he has persevered to the bitter end, and now death looms near. Yet, still, the gods do not bestow their favor upon him. Put down the vision and leave. Ah, uh, my mind. Kazuha tried to trigger if he is in you. real danger. Uh -huh. Will he trigger the vision or not? What's wrong? Are you hmm. asking for more punishment? It's up to you. Such willingness is commendable and fits the way of the samurai. No, no, no need for that. Thank Why mischievous, Kazuha? You truly are generous. Huh? Paimon doesn't get it. Were you just trying to scare him? I take no pleasure in frightening others. I was just testing all possibilities yep, as while expected. the vision remained in his hands. And yeah, insta queue. into a corner. My that is when their greatest strength. Well, at least one of my party member is very strong. Maybe an opportunity for him. <laughs> Only one of them. The Everyone else is under level. Unfortunately, nothing happened. But she is enough to carry me through the story, I believe. Yes. I wanted to know whether it were possible for an extinguished vision to be reawakened. Because I already played this game casually. I didn't vision, farm I a lot. I only farm for one character and one character only. I've tried many other methods in the past, and so far it's worked out. I hope it's going to continue working well. Reawakening. I only played this game for the story After anyway. After <laughs> seeing you command multiple elements, I figured that nothing is impossible. Come, why don't you give it a try? Let's see if you can give me the answer I'm hoping for. Well, I can huh. try. The vision didn't seem to respond at all. I see. So you are also unable to rekindle the vision. No matter. This was expected. I suppose this vision is still mine. Why to are you take so determined to rekindle the vision? Yeah, what's the story behind this vision anyway? The story begins with an old friend. Oh, backstory. He was once a good friend of mine, 
One day he asked me about a sword art of which he had heard, the Musono Hitotachi. I told him it can only be witnessed when divine punishment is administered. It is the pinnacle of the Raiden Shogun skill, Ooh. a symbol of ultimate power. But he replied, this is a cute there animation. must be one who can withstand it. There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow. Then, the vision hunt decree arrived. People's aspirations were stripped away as the Raiden Shogun began that, to construct her that ideal eyes of eternity. Bring me a While bad vibe. I was vibe. from place to place, I heard that my friend had challenged the vision hunters to a duel before the throne. A solemn yet brutal challenge. The defeated faced divine punishment, while the victors gain a second chance. Perhaps he thought he of all people should make a stand. Coming face to face with the Musono Hitotachi was all that he truly desired, after all. When I arrived at Tenchukaku, the duel was over. I heard his sentence of divine punishment, his severed blade hitting the ground. Perhaps that was the glory he had yearned to witness. In his last moments, what expression was on his face? Aww. Before I knew it, I had stepped forward and snatched the dying vision and was running from the scene. All I knew was that I mustn't let his hope, which burned so brightly, become buried among the ice-cold statue of a god. Perhaps Aww. one day, I may come to find that all I have done is meaningless. But as a wandering samurai, I find meaning in traveling and the sprawling beauty of nature that lies along the way. So he is the main protagonist the of Isazuma's story. Okay. <laughs> it's just another way of saying I do as I please. All right then, it's time we returned. Let's go. Allow me to gather the wind for us once more. And I have to walk back? Okay, nice. I would hate if I have to walk back by myself. Huh? Did Beta leave already? Maybe she went back to her ship. If you're looking for the captain, she was summoned by Lady Ninglong. It seems that the crux clash got out of hand this time and has attracted her attention. Captain Beta was muttering something about Ningguang being a stick in the mud as she headed off to Liyue <laughs> Harbor. Okay. <laughs> it's not unusual for those two to be at odds with one another. But still, Captain Beta was disappointed she didn't get to witness the crowning of the new champion. She had been looking forward to it for quite some time. The one who stole the vision was originally to be this hero's opponent in the final round. He knew he stood no chance of winning the match, thus the wicked idea of stealing the prize took hold in his mind. In which case, the Crux Clash comes to a clear-cut conclusion. Huh? So that's what happened? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if that's the case, then the rules stipulate that he is disqualified. And our hero here is the champion. Paimon thought we'd win and all, but not like this. It doesn't matter. As the saying goes, honor given is honor deserved. Now, let me go prepare the champion's medal to award you. So, about our ticket? Yes, I believe so. Though Captain Beto is no longer present here, I'll be sure she receives word of it. She is okay, nice. a woman of her word. But the voyage to Inazuma is a treacherous one. You will be plagued by a perpetual tempest the entire trip. In fact, the relentless rain and wind are also an embodiment of the Raiden Shogun's will to close the nation. Hold on a second. You're saying she can change the weather just with the power of her mind? Let us not forget that this is one of the Seven Archons. If Liyue's Morax could form Guyun's stone forest by casting down his stone spears, then it should come as no great surprise that the Raiden Shogun is capable of summoning an eternal uh, tempest. What Suffice it to can say that if you wish to journey Wendy to Inazuma, do again? the Alcor will need some time. You will be notified once all the preparations have been made. In the meantime, I don't remember I he do anything on a grand of my own. as the Archon. I will travel all across the vast lands of Liyue in the hope of finding a way to reawaken the vision. Aww. So you're not gonna sure. join us in Thank Inazuma? You. May both our journeys prove meaningful. One final word of warning. The part of your journey that lies after the storm 
may well prove to be the most arduous. All right, poor rock dawn. We just one hour in. I think we can do one or two arc. Maybe you can finish act two. We will see. There is four act for the main story anyway. And don't look at that. And like I said before, I play this game casually. So sometimes, not sometimes, a lot of time, the energy can be full. Oh. Why is not tracking? Okay. Where that? Oh. Add Astra Abyssosk. What can I do for you, traveler? About traveling to Inazuma. Ah, yes. I've heard that you've already made arrangements with the captain of the Crux Fleet regarding your passage to Inazuma. Is that correct? Are you going to be there too? It, it's been quite some time since I last visited those lands. Unfortunately, I don't have any current intel that would be worth oh, sharing. Oh, so there with is you. no Katarine in Inazuma? There you are. You're the traveler that Beido will be taking to Inazuma, right? Yeah. The fleet is nearly completed reprovisioning. Once the crews have taken a headcount, we can get underway. Captain Beto sent me to come get you. We'll weigh anchor as soon as you're aboard. Seems Let's go then. The captain of, the word. of course. There are many things that the captain insists upon. I'm sure you'll see for yourself once you're on board. I feel like board. this Inazuma is the <clears throat> so you'll only be area in this game that locked behind the story. The two new area, the maybe three new area, the of the can heavens, be traveled but by foot. But in Asuma, you no, you can't go there by swimming. Until we meet again, add Astra Abyssosk. Add Astra Abyssosk. Oh, it's kind of hard to say goodbye now. We practically see each other every day. <laughs> well, if that's how you feel, why not come and find me when you arrive? I'll be awaiting you on Narukami Island. I knew it. So there's another Catherine in Inazuma? <laughs> see, there's no need to get all sappy now. <laughs> well, I guess it's time for you to bid farewell to Liyue Harbor. Now that I've delivered my message, I'll be heading back. The ship is currently anchored off of Guyun Stone Forest. Okay, thanks for coming all this way to let us know. Just following orders. I'll see you two aboard the Alcor. Okay. So we have to go back there again. Immovable God. Immovable God. All right. Can I swim for 200 meter without drowning? Uh, one moment, let's recover all the stamina. All right. If I sprint, you do you think I can reach? Uh, it's... I think I can reach that, right? Shouldn't be that hard. My class is... My cut is quite close though. Okay, let's stop. Um... Please? Come on! There's a little bit more. Do not drown now. Good. Barely. <laughs> I shouldn't try that. Uh, last time I get here, I just climb up the mountain and just jump down from up there. But I think this is faster. You finally made it. Yay. All these years come rain or storm. The Crux fleet has never suffered a delay. If it were anyone else, I might have set sail already. It's honor to be aboard. <laughs> Don't look too serious. I'm only joking. You're just on time. The crew have just finished making final preparations. <sighs> well, now that everyone's here, we set sail for the land engulfed by storm and tempest. The nation of eternity. Mm -hmm. Anchors away!
Okay, and see it's one hour. Oh, didn't you say you're gonna go to Liyue? Why are you here? <laughs> well, since it's one hour already after this cutscene, I'm gonna go grab some water. My wa my water running out. Yay! And we reach Nasuma now, right? <laughs> oh, that's cool! You finally made it. Yeah, I remember you sure kept me waiting, Toma. Captain. And it appears we have a couple of stowaways. Or perhaps I should say, honored guests. Yay. <laughs> you can blame your almighty Shogun. The tempests around Inazuma have been growing all the more fierce lately. Though the fleet was fully up to the challenge, the inclement weather still caused some delay. Now then, let me introduce everyone. This is Toma, a trade partner that I've gotten to know recently. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to see you. Toma, these two are... Oh, no need for introductions. Their reputation for How do you them. know about us? It seems Isn't even your country... Uh, can't keep rumors of these outlander sterling deeds at Close? Bay. Nice to meet you, anyway. <laughs> oh, it's sure nice to hear you say that. <laughs> With any luck, it'll give you a head start here. Toma's resided on Rito for quite some time now. It wouldn't be going too far to say he's the fixer around these parts. If you run into any problems here, just talk to Toma. But if he tries to pull any moves on you, I'll be sure to deal with him personally the next time I'm around. Okay. <laughs> no need to worry. I'm sure we'll get along just fine. Good. Then if it's all settled, I'll be going. I wouldn't want to be caught with my sails down here. I do have a wanted fugitive on board after all. <laughs> oh, right. oh yeah, that's why right. it's wanted. Until next time, traveler. Remember to give it your all, no matter what perilous storms you may encounter. Yeah, we got this. Fair seas, Captain Beetle. Bye bye. Now then, first things first. We need to go get you registered at the border checkpoint. on the down low are we just gonna walk into the government's hands <laughs> don't underestimate the reaches of the sokoku decree you wouldn't be able to avoid inspection even if you tried so we have to play by the rules even if we're kind of bending them why well, you still have vision though okay then all right we leave in a suma Okay, I'm gonna go grab water real quick.
I'm back. Yeah. I'm back. I got some water and I got some mango. For a snack. <laughs> if you don't know I'm snacking while playing video game, I hope I hope you don't hear me chewing to the mic. I use dynamic mic so you shouldn't hear so much of background noise, I think. Except if I stay back from here, you should not be able to hear me quite well already, right? At least that's what I hope. And hello, Katri. No. Okay, you're not Katrin. Hello? Please state your name, identity, and the purpose of your visit. Oh, except you, Toma. Um... You must be... new here. Yep. <laughs> we are here to hey, meet with... Excuse me? A shogun. Please provide the information requested, and also declare any goods you are carrying with you. <laughs> we are here to fry my... to find my brother. Oh, well, I'm sorry. We cannot approve entry for purely personal reasons. So, unless you have a valid reason for visiting in accordance with the rules... Um... Uh, we... Uh, <laughs> My apologies, but I'll have to ask you to... Here are the entry papers, for your kind perusal. Mm hmm? What? Ugh, take your time, no rush or anything! <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to see what you'd say. Sorry about that. I see. Okay, your papers are all in order. Welcome to Rito. <sighs> so, where do we go next? The Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, they only check entry permits here. If you want to remain on Rito, there's a process you have to go through with them. Sheesh. So it is super strict, just like everyone says. Well, let's not forget that to everyday folk in Inazuma, people from everywhere else are referred to as outsiders. As the word suggests, outlanders aren't very welcome in Inazuma with the Sokoku decree in force. Mm. Not even on Rito where they've established an outsider settlement. Well, we still have to go on. <laughs> I like how you think. I've got a feeling we're going to get along very well. Now, let's head over to the Outlander Affairs Agency. Most of the current rules were put in place by the administration of Rito, the mm -hmm. Kanjo Commission. The Kanjo? Yes, I hear I hear having no map, so I'm gonna go unlock that thing for first. Growing and managing the nation's wealth. Um, you really haven't heard of it before? <laughs> oh dear! Oh, there's some footstep. I thought there's gonna be no footstep in the sand. Okay, up there, right? <laughs> oh, just not my berry. Okay. Yay! Let's see. <laughs> yeah, there is no way we can swim that far. Alright. We have anything? No. Yeah, I see my friend have an option here to change our element, but I don't have one. I don't know how to unlock that. Really. I don't even have Geo Tablet right now. <laughs> Sorry, running through. All right. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> You've completed the entry procedures, yes? And now you want to apply for residency? 
Both of you? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, the processing fee will be two million mora. <laughs> two million? For a processing fee? Are you serious? That's right. One million per applicant, which makes two million total. Don't worry. You can trust my math. Oh, don't I worry. I can do math. Questioning your math is... Uh, Paimon, you don't have to be resident. <laughs> Ma'am, these two here are good friends of mine. I think you'll find I'm one face you recognize. Ah, Mr. Toma, it's you. By way of courtesy, allow me to reduce it to... 400,000 mora total. That is a major discount. <laughs> Thank you ever so much, Miss Eureka. But as this is just a processing fee, I think 600 mora should cover it if I'm paying on their behalf. I'll treat you to dinner too. How does that sound? <laughs> Alright then, as you oh, wish, really? Toma, that I will make a record. <laughs> Much obliged. So they really hate our world, uh, Outlander, I mean, not our world. Uh, we are on the same planet. What? She went from 2 million down to 600? There's something seriously wrong with people's sense of finance around well, here! it's more than Mora, yeah. <laughs> It's not as mind-boggling as you think. A processing fee is just a figure of speech. The way some here at the agency see it, the fees are easy money. So it becomes a question of how much they can make. So when the day comes that some poor merchant from overseas with more money than cents gets stuck here and needs to apply for residency... Oh... them for all they're worth! <laughs> exactly. It's at times like this that having a local friend really comes in handy. I see. Yes, but when you're an outlander in Inazuma, far from home in this close nation era, there's very little that can be done about it. The most that overseas merchants can do to look after themselves is stick together. That's how the International Trade Association came about. So it's a trade association built by and for outlanders? Yep. And as well as advancing commercial interests, the association provides help, support, and structure for outlanders trying to survive on Rito. Mm. Essentially, it's an association devoted to both commercial excellence and survival skills. I see. How about Light and Shogun? <sighs> Sounds like just staying alive is an achievement when you're an outlander in Inazuma. I see. So this is the real purpose of your trip. Yes, given that you are outlanders, it's certainly a lofty aspiration. After all, the Raiden Shogun is the most exalted and revered one in all of Inazuma. She is a deity who <laughs> reigns on high, while all other life gazes up in awe. Well, I need to find a way. Huh. I was going to say nothing is set in stone when it comes to who you will encounter in this world. Who's to say you won't happen to run into the Raiden Shogun one day after lunch? Uh-huh. And is that likely? Okay, I'll give it to you straight. I know of a way to introduce you to the Raiden Shogun. Really? Why are you so nice to me? Wow, the Rito Fixer is better connected than we thought. <laughs> I mean, it will take all the resources I have at my disposal, but it could be done. However, before we get there, connections come at a high price, you understand? Ugh, not you too. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. In this instance, when I say price, I'm not talking about Mora. In fact, there's no real cost as such. It's just that if this is something you really want, you'll have to agree to help other people solve some of their problems first. I like to do things in a way that keeps everybody happy. It's my own personal rule for dealing with situations like this. Understandable. It sounds very reasonable to Paimon. You're the man in the middle. So you have to trade favors to keep everyone indebted to you. So what's the job? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling you're making me out to be some sort of crook? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Here's the situation. As I touched upon earlier, the members of the International Trade Association are constantly struggling to survive. Recently, things seem to have gotten more difficult than ever for them, so just go and check things out. See if there's any way you can help. The head of the association is called Carisio, and he's a good friend of mine. Go talk to him. I'll wait for you here. All right. Well. Uh, not you. Not you. You. Huh? Hello there. 
You must be seeking refuge with the International Trade Association. Um, the Outlander Affairs Agency took you for all your worth, I suppose. Luckily, we have friend with us. Ah, oh, good. That's a relief. You need to be careful, or you'll find yourself losing your savings all at once. We heard the association has been having some difficulties. Oh, hi, Chow. Hi, hi. Yes. Welcome. Left, right, we just center, lead in a sumo, as you can see. At every turn. But that's nothing new for us. The Sokoku decree certainly I am all reach AR thirty. How? Okay, I can't. Cause of our woes, the Sokoku decree might restrict our scope of activity. A new, all the new event that the little game one, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Got it. So, okay, okay. Outlander merchant Stry is. Yeah, I'm all reach AR thirty five now, and I already pee for material for. Commission, like, you know. That's the one that oversees everything on retail. Isn't? Really? I kind of feel right. that for sure. They impose astronomical <laughs> I'm not good with this game. Unbelievable regulations, and that's not the worst of it. Is that even available after Act One? They recently that, for some reason, or Act Two, changes the way we pay our taxes. It used to be Mora, but now it's something called Crystal Marrow. Crystal Marrow? What's that? Uh, something that most of us in the association had never heard of before either, until the new decree came along. Mm -hmm. Eventually, one of the older Liyue merchants recalled that he once shipped a batch of it to Snezhnaya in his youth. So, in order to pay our taxes, we began an arduous search for this crystal marrow. But then we found we'd only managed to create a bigger problem for ourselves. Okay, okay, looking forward to it. crystal marrow drove the price higher and higher. Now there's only one I hope it's not gonna be too hard. Stock. We can't get a hold of it anywhere In else. order to make one, you need to beat it, right? Uh, isn't that what they call a monopoly? Thousand plus nos. Okay. Exactly. So this vendor keeps pushing the price up, and we have no choice but to buy from it. I see, I see. Like in Mario Maker. In order to publish the map, you need to beat it yourself it's too. A vicious cycle. The consequence of which is that our taxes will soon exceed our profits. And once that happens... Oh no. We've tried communicating with the commission directly. But this is a nation where the cries of a few struggling merchants will never be heard over the ever-present roar of thunder. <sighs> Fontaine, my dear homeland. Oh, you found Fontaine. Off a lot okay. Moment. Sounds awful. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. That means it's possible to beat. But can I beat it? That the other question. <laughs> yeah, we gotta try our best to negotiate. But Chris is the head of the association, and even he hasn't had any luck. Not to mention, we're outlanders too. <sighs> right. And besides, I think this may well be the fate they've ordained for us. We could try tackling the problem by going to the other party involved. Uh, that vendor. I've actually done business with him in the past, but after a point he stopped contacting us. I have no idea where he sources the stuff. Hmm. Well, it definitely sounds like he's being unfair. How do we find him? We could go talk to him and see if he lets anything slip. Hmm. Hey, that's a pretty good idea. Since you're not affiliated with the association and you're new to Rito, you may just let his guard down. So who? If I remember correctly, our usual meeting point with him is under a tree by the coast in the residential district. See if you can find him there. Don, Got it. Don't Got he it. have a fun store or something? Oh well. <laughs> Here? You. Werner. Huh? I don't think I recognize you. Are you new arrivals? Your name doesn't sound like a local. Oh well, we just alive. So, what do you need with me? Where do you sort your goods? The sheer nerve. You don't go around asking questions like that. If I gave you my sources, I might as well hand you the whole darn business. Trade secret. Got it? You know what trade and secret mean, right? This guy 
Everybody's got a bad attitude. Uh, can you reduce your prices? <laughs> Are you even buying? Oh, I see what's going on here. Carisu and his associates sent you here to try and plead their case, didn't they? <laughs> They're wasting their time. The price is non-negotiable. Not by a single mora. Hey, what's your problem? Get out of here, go on. Tell them they're lucky to be buying from me in the first place. And they ought to be more grateful. If it weren't for me, they'd be in seriously hot water. What are we gonna do? There's no talking to this guy. Mm. Yeah, let's go get Toma. Good idea. Let's check back in with him. <laughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let me check. Little escape plan. That sounds like a spoiler to me. Are we gonna whack war in mm -hmm. Little or something? That was quick. You resolved it already? Um, actually, we're having a little trouble. Yeah, we're gonna need your help. Oh? Well, by all means, tell me what you need. I'll help as much as I can. Getting you to go fixing things when you've only just arrived is quite a demand. Do you know about Werner? Oh, that guy? I'm familiar. He used to be a bit of a sorry sight, selling shells that he collect on the beach just to get by. But he seems to have suddenly shot up in the world recently. I can only assume he must have found himself a patron after leaving the International Trade Association. A member of the International Trade Association? So he's yeah, as expected, too? he doesn't yes. sound like a local. Couldn't you tell when you spoke to him? Seemed like a monster. That's right. Werner was born in Mondstadt, then went into the shipping business, trading between Leah and Inazuma. When Inazuma closed to the outside world, he was one of a group of outlanders that ended up stranded on Rito. The International Trade Association was initially very generous to him, but over time, with decree after decree, the association members found it increasingly difficult to make ends meet. So he left the association and turned his back on them! Hmm... <laughs> I'm sure it's more nuanced than that. I believe even the most ungrateful and cold-hearted of people still have some amount of gratitude and warmth left in them somewhere. He got it. Really? Is that all you need to know? Well then, it sounds like you may have found a way in with him. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Just because I got plenty of time on my hands doesn't mean I want to waste any of it talking to you. It's what the wind that lead me back uh, here to you. Where is this coming from? <laughs> Dandelion Y should be sure. Be nice. Monster? You were talking about Monster? Are you half homesick? Um. <laughs> this one. Goodness, I can sense it now. So familiar, but I can't remember the last time I was there. <sighs> the scent of Mondstadt. Oh, how it takes me back. Me, let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. Ah, oh, my hometown, the home of freedom. How I long to go back and visit. Oh, it's working. <sighs> oh, oh. <clears throat> so, trying to play my heartstrings like a liar, are you? I know what you're up to. Close your eyes. Huh? What is this? What are you up to now? Just close your eyes already! <laughs> you mean... the sound of the ocean? Um... A food? Right. <gasps> Leah Harbor. I can see it so clearly. Uh, oh, and the sound of the waves. The calls of the merchants. Yeah. Xiao lanterns. 
I'm right there at the lantern right. Oh, look at them floating up into the sky. This guy has a really active imagination. <laughs> Come I on. Really You're doing great. Liyue Harbor. <sighs> Liyue. Liyue. Uh, what? Well, these two people work, right? Oh, this one, see, they have a lot of them. Wait. Stop. That's enough. Don't make me relive it anymore. My poor heart can't take it. Yeah, a lot of people have supported you in the past. You mean the folks from the International Trade Association? And I suppose they are far from home, just like me. Often, I'll sneak down to the shore at night and listen to the sound of the waves. I like to imagine it's the voice of my hometown, carried across the ocean. I've run into folks from the association more than a few times doing just that, but I always hide my face and slip away. <sighs> Don't you think I've wanted to talk things through with them and free myself from this anguish? Um, well, no one's stopping you, so... Well, he saw my stopping him. They're so resilient. None of them had anyone else to rely on, so they rallied together, committed to finding a way to survive. But I couldn't do it. I'm not strong enough, so I caved. Those people, they'd make the smallest of promises, offer the most measly benefits, and I'd do whatever they asked of me. Who and make are those look like people? The worst people in the world. All right, I'll tell you the whole story. It's eating me up inside, and I can't take it anymore. You ready to talk now? Yeah, come get a drink with your friends from the association. But I betrayed them. I can't show my face there. Uh, come on, you scaredy cat. Look, you messed up, but now it's time to make things right. Yeah. So come on, get it off your chest. What's the deal here? It's a scheme by the tax collection Ashigaru. Keijiro and his companions. They start by overtaxing the merchants, then take the extra crystal marrow they receive and stockpile it. Once the merchants run out of places to buy crystal marrow, they get me to sell that extra stock back oh, to the merchants at an extortionate evil. price, with the proceeds going to the tax collection Ashigaru. It's just... it's plain evil gouging them like this. I'm their puppet, yes. But my cut is a tiny fraction of what we take in total. It's barely enough for me to live on. We need evidence. Evidence? Hmm. You're right. Without conclusive evidence, he will never admit it. Now that I think about it, whenever I report back to him after a sale, he always heads to the same place. It's always made me suspicious. As it happens, I handed some Mora over to him not long ago. I, I can show you where he went if you want. Okay. Really? Well, then there's no time to lose. All right, all right. This is... <laughs> if I have time, I should find the album of this Kedro, game. If there is one, him. the OST. I want to hear the whole o OST of this game. Follow him. Okay. We need to follow from behind, right? Like this. This work, right? I think this working, guys. Oh. Ah. Oh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Should I close earlier? Yeah, it's working so far. <laughs> now, who else? Too close! That's too close! He'll notice this for sure! If you want to taste Mondstadt's great wine, then look no oh. further than... He's getting further and further... Hmm. What was that sound? Nothing. Shh. Quiet! Don't let him find us! Nothing, nothing. Must be hearing things. Drat, I'm behind schedule. I need to hurry. Okay. He's getting further and further away. Let's catch up a little. You quiet down, Paimon. Uh. 
Uh, what are you doing? What could he be doing at a place like this? It looks like he buried something over there, damn it. Why don't we take a look? We quickly before he come back. A ledger. Boring. I'm that he'd hidden a big pile of more. Well, ledger is evident, right? <laughs> yeah. Let me take a look here. Ah, yes. This is what we're looking for. A clear and complete record of every single transaction, each one proof of his guilt. Great! Well, now we have our hard evidence. Let's go tell Carissa the good news, shall we? Uh, um, I'll... I'll say goodbye to you here, then. Huh? Come on, yeah, tag along. Who else can you gonna rely to if you're not gonna rely uh, with... I need a little more the time international before I'm group. ready to face the head of the association. I'm sorry. He's a pretty awkward guy, huh? Aw, no fight. Come on. Oh, both of you are here. But we really don't have oh, anything this is not left. Good, huh? If this keeps up, our sales will come in at a loss. There'll be nothing left for us to do but starve. You know the decree? The rules are the rules. No discounts, no exceptions, and no excuses. Mm hmm. Hmm? And who are you? Another new member of the association? It just so happens that we found your little ledger. So now we're here to tell everyone all about how you embezzled Crystal Marrow to sell it right back to the taxpayers. Huh? Is this true? You've been swindling us. Well, uh. Y you, you see, the, the ta taxes, uh... Let me take a look at the ledger. Yeah, as you can see... Well, would you look at that? Every payment the association has made is right here in your personal ledger. So, Mr. Keijiro, it seems you have some explaining to do. How shall we settle this, hmm? Huh. So you think you can use this against me, do you? It's quite obvious that I'm merely trying to earn a modest living for myself, like anyone else. You just has call that modest? And the really? commission place great importance on reputation and prestige. Though I'm sure commission members won't blame you once word gets out. Huh? Is that a threat? Are you threatening me? No, not at all. I'm simply stating that it would be quite a pity if an illustrious gentleman such as yourself were to have their reputation tarnished. Uh, well, even if what you say is true, what do you suggest we do about it? I believe you still have a quantity of crystal marrow in your possession, correct? Perhaps that crystal marrow could be used as compensation for the recent tax hike, and us merchants could finally have some more breathing room. Is that it? <sighs> Do you have any idea the hoops I had to jump through to get the crystal marrow and keep it hidden? Uh, fine. In that case, I'll send it over to you today. Oh. And not even an ounce of shame <laughs> for his actions. So that's it? My shop's been closed for weeks now. I've even had to ask my friends to help bail me out. What about my losses? Come on, Harrison. We've already stuck a good deal here. I'm sick of being pushed around like this. I won't let him off so easily. Harrison. Hey, what's all this racket? Does someone dare question the decree? Oh, no. Ah, Chief, you've arrived. What was all the commotion I heard just now? Oh, we were just discussing a minor tax issue. I do my utmost to lend them a helping hand, but they're never grateful. Ah, uh, you. A helping hand? The only thing you're doing is stuffing your greedy pockets with our hard-earned wealth. I assure you that Hirage Shinsuke will hear of this. Oh, and you dare to utter the commissioner's name. You outlanders have no respect for the rules. Seize the merchants. We will resolve this dispute back at headquarters. Uh-oh. This is going in a bad direction. Well, time for gentlemen, the fight. Gentlemen, gentlemen, come Aww. Is there any need for this? If there's a dispute to resolve, let's get a drink and talk it over. 
Who are you supposed to be? And why in my right mind would I join you for a drink? <laughs> you never heard of the Fixer? Uh, that title doesn't help have any weird with these people. Here's my card. Huh, you're from the Yashiro Commission. Shh. Huh, well, this is Kanjo Commission territory. However powerful the Yashiro Commission may be, you have no business meddling in Rito's affairs. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Still, perhaps you could show the young... Uh, why does he cut like that? Lady of our clan, some courtesy. You wouldn't want your name showing up in a petition to the Shogun, would you? That, that fan, is a Yaga fan, right? I don't need any trouble with her. <sighs> okay, let's forget all this. It'll give us one less thing to worry about. Is there but really no chief. law in this land? <laughs> Enough. We're all leaving. these blind, let's threatening, and backmailing. My treat, I insist. <sighs> no response, huh? I suppose that bridge is well and truly burned then. Thank you so much, Toma. But I'm sorry your relationship with the Kanjo Commission had to suffer for our sake. <laughs> hey, hey, I was joking. It's a small price to pay, and you're more than welcome. If there's anyone you should be thanking, it's the Traveler. She's the one who found a way to turn things around. <sighs> if nothing else, I'm sure the tax collection Ashigaru will tread a little more carefully in the future. Toma? What was all that? Shh, shh, not here. Too many people listening. <laughs> Let's move somewhere else. Okay, okay. Um, by somewhere else, you mean middle of the town, right here? Corruption Is that no different? The Kanjo Commission. They truly are rotten to the core. <sighs> All right, it's time for me to answer your questions. What would you like to know? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Yashiro Commission, right? Let me reintroduce myself. I belong to the Kamisato Clan of the Yashiro Commission on Narukami Island. I'm an attendant of the Shirasagi Himegimi. Narukami? That means something that I don't remember. I used to know the meaning of that word. So, the Yashiro Commission. Guessing that's another branch of the Tri Commission? Correct. The Kamisato clan is the head of the Yashiro Commission, who manage ceremonial and cultural affairs. I'd go into more detail on what exactly that covers, but I'm not even sure myself. Um... I'm just someone who was fortunate enough to be taken in by the Kamisato clan. My role is to take care of the daughter of the clan, Kamisato Ayaka, also known as the Shirasagi Himigimi. Seems like she must be super famous in Inazuma, given the reaction of those guys just now. <laughs> oh, most definitely. She's graceful, dignified, and kind-hearted, too. The people of Inazuma quite adore Miss Kamisato. Her fame even somewhat eclipses that of her older brother, Kamisato Ayato, despite the fact Aww. that he's the current head of the clan. I suppose those who treat others with compassion earn themselves Is the Ayato same treatment playable? in return. I don't remember. Miss Kamisato's situation certainly seems to attest to that. Take me, for example. I'm just an attendant, and yet she treats me as an equal, as she would a friend. Um, so where is the fixer of Lito come from? You're asking the right questions. And to be honest, I don't want to keep you in the dark any more than is necessary. Firstly, you should know that being a fixer is not something you can fake. I spent the better part of a month tirelessly building up a network of relationships on the island. And I got to know Captain Beto during that time, too. Mm -hmm. Still pretty good going for just a month's work. <laughs> well, maybe I have a slight knack for schmoozery. But the main thing was, I had to make sure I'd be in time to receive you when you arrived. Oh. Inazuma may have closed off to the so you know world, about us but before that hasn't stopped a lot of people from you hearing about your feats in Monsta and Liyue. So, when Miss Kamisato heard of your intention to come to Inazuma, she began looking forward to your arrival with great anticipation. She's excited to find out whether the rumors are true. That is, that you have what it takes to change the tide of the times. Change the tide of the times? Are you gonna hold, uh... In the Liot? test I gave you earlier, although uh, there were a what few you, hiccups what at the, the end, word again? it was you who Levolution. found a way to turn the situation right. around. Navigating powerful people, using their character flaws to your advantage. It's just what Miss Kamisato had hoped to see. With your help, even the Vision Hunt Decree. I never offer to help. Ah. Uh, hmm. That 
that's an unexpected development. Perhaps our sources were misleading. Well, my one goal here is to meet Lady and Shogun. Yes, of course. I completely understand and has agreed. I shall help set that up for you. Huh. Toma sure didn't put up much of a fight. <laughs> well, my work on Rito is done. So I suppose this is goodbye for now. Oh, uh, one more thing. This invitation letter is for you. When you get to Narukami Island, you can find me at the Komori Tea House, as per the letter. Good luck with everything. See you soon. See ya. We're not gonna get involved into the uh, internal conflict of the country, right? That's one problem. Huh? What's up? We can't leave Lito. Well, perhaps not. Oh, darn it! No wonder he was so matter-of-fact about the whole thing. As soon as we get off Ritu, Paimon's going straight to Kamura Tea House to settle the score! Good luck. Well, guess we should give it a try. Let's head to the border and see how far we get. So... Okay, after this one, we can do some rhythm game, right? Hello. Stop there. Present your travel permits. Sorry, but we really gotta get to Narukami Island. It's kinda urgent. If you don't have a travel permit, this is as far as you'll get. Those are the rules. <sighs> as expected. Traveler, you gotta think of something. How do we get out of Rito? Uh... I wonder if Kan's Joe Commission has heard of us. Are you saying we should go and meet with the Kanjo Commissioner? Guess it can't hurt to try. Even if Paimon has a few choice words to say about his subordinates. Who knows? Maybe he's our biggest fan. <laughs> mm, doubt it. But let's see. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Hello. Halt! This is the Kanjo Commissioner's office. No trespassers. We're here to see, uh, you know, uh, the Kanjo Commissioner. The Kanjo Commissioner seldom entertains outlanders. Leave now or we'll be forced to... Ah, wait, wait, wait. Oh, Commissioner. Ah, These two easy. are honored guests from afar. No need to give them the usual spiel. Hmm, come on in. Let's see what we can do for you. Did you get all that, mister? <laughs> my, my sincere apologies. Come on, he's just doing his job. Even though his attitude is not good, but he's just doing his job, right? I am Hiragi Shinsuke, Kanjo Commissioner and Head of the Hiragi Clan. It's an honor to meet you both. Hey, da. Nice to meet you, sir. To come and see you was because all right all right all in good time two travelers renowned far and wide have shown up to see me and i should very much like to make their acquaintance Let's oh no this to business owner. i don't know if you can hear <laughs> this or not but <laughs> so what you're is there's a heavy storm happening outside my house right now absolutely i hope How i don't get any blackout in the world have what it takes to knock the wind out of storm terror sails and put the overlord of the vortex back under the sea, eh? There exactly. is a really proud thunder to... Oh, this is not good. And I hear you also foiled a Fatui plot in Liyue Harbor. Even beat one of their harbingers in a duel. Is that true? Whoa, well, you your network too? is quite uh, impressive. Yeah, it's true, all right. Hmm. As I thought. Something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm simply awestruck by you both is all. Well, you're too kind. Rito is greatly honored to have you visit us. One other thing I heard about you is your great zeal for helping other people. Hmm. This makes me wonder whether you might be so kind as to render your assistance to the Kondro Commission. Uh? -huh. Sure, no problem. Whatever you need, right? Another errands. 
Excellent. Well then, you must know the Qingxin. A flower grows on the mountaintops of Liyue. Yep, we've picked a few of those before. So, uh, you want us to go back to Liyue? Yes, bring me 300 Qingxin, uh. would you? Freshly picked, I mean. Uh, did Paimon hear that wrong? They don't stay fresh after their pick. Hmm? Too much trouble, is it? Hmm, I see. Then how about this? We have a few items that need delivering. Perhaps you can help with that? That sounds much more like it. 709 letters to be precise. Huh. Hey, what <laughs> gives? How come you don't have people to do that already? Terribly sorry. We're just a little short on people lately. What sort of an explanation is that? Uh, what do you oh, want? Traveler, what are we going to do? Should we really help this guy? I will consider it. That's the spirit. Don't keep me waiting too long now. <laughs> There's something fishy going on behind you. Alright, let's leave for now. And see what that woman gonna talk with us. Halt, you two! Uh, just as expected. <gasps> Miss Hiragi has a letter for you. She insists that you read it immediately. A letter? Quick! Let Paimon see! Dear so Tavala. She wants you to secretly meet her at night? Would that I could convey this message to you in person? Either. Can you stop talking? What's going on? Uh, for his mean, which that I come to you and hope that it won't left you feeling perfect or perturbed in any way. Okay, invitation for unknown hour. Oh, do, do, do. Please don't fresh. Return a bodyguard. Okay, so it's just an invitation. We share a glance. Huh? Have you been up to something behind Paimon's back? Hmm. I have Let's higher. See what she has to say. Uh, perceptive. Perception roll than you, Paimon. Oh, we need to change the time. Okay, we need to go to the night. Here. Wait, this I go. This I overshoot. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Now we go here. Uh, where are you? Ah, you finally arrived. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Hiragi Chisato. This is technically the second time we have met. It's a pleasure to see you again. Are you his wow. daughter? She's the daughter of the Hiragi clan, all right. Precious mine. Uh, no need to be so formal. I've long marveled at your accomplishments. And at last, we have the chance to meet. Um, are you gonna right help us, or is this a honey trap? We will see. The reason why I wanted to secretly meet you here is... Well, I feared that I might never have another opportunity to discuss this with you. Discuss what? Ahem. I should like to ask for your help with delivering a letter. Uh, a leaving? Uh, like father, like daughter. Couldn't you be more original? Uh, no, <laughs> you misunderstand me. Please, allow me to explain. I was hoping that you could deliver a letter to Narukami Island in my stead. Oh, nice. It is to be given to Kujo Kamaji of the Tenryo Commission. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. He knows that there are prospects for my marriage that would better serve him politically. But my heart is with Kamaji. <sighs> there is no one who would dare defy my father's will on Rito, but you are outlanders. Outlanders seeking to get to Narukami Island. It would be regrettable to let such an opportunity pass. Hmm, how do you know that? Oh! Gets the whole picture now. Did Toma tell you? In doing so, 
I will also do everything in my power to help you leave Rito. That it's is my deal, promise. Then. To be perfectly honest, as long as you remain in Inazuma, my father will have no intention of letting you leave Rito. Yeah, we figured as much. It was pretty obvious he was just trying to hold us up here. I secretly overheard a conversation between my father and a very arrogant sounding woman just a few days ago. Mm. They seem to be discussing how to keep you here on Rito. In fact, it was the first time I had ever heard woman. my father speak so respectfully to someone who wasn't the Shogun. We don't have much time. I'll tell you my plans to help you off the island. It just so happens that a shipment of goods is... Okay. Very well. I'll be waiting for you at the border. I'm counting on you to deliver my letter. Yeah, I think this is planned by Toma. Maybe. Hey, anyway. Let's go. Hold on, please. These goods are being sent to... Watatsumi Island? My lady, this is an unexpected honor. Uh, you are correct. These goods have been repeatedly requested by the Kanjo Commissioner. We must be certain that they reach Watatsumi Island intact. Is there something wrong, Lady Hiragi? No, as you were. My father simply has some concerns of the shipment's safety, and has ordered that myself and an additional qualified escort be dispatched to ensure safe transport of the goods. Oh, my lady, okay. you aren't suggesting that you intend to escort this shipment personally, are you? There's certainly no need for you to trouble yourself with such a matter. And as for this qualified escort... You dare question my abilities? Please, do not cause us any further delay. If memory serves me right, my father has already asserted that this shipment must arrive on time. I'm certain punishment will be duly dispensed if it fails to do so. Yes, of course, my lady. It, it's just that, well, we don't know who this... Now, need I remind you of the penalty? If anything were to <laughs> happen to me... She just pushed him around. I'm sure you are all quite familiar with my father's temperament. Do you really presume that you can fully guarantee my safety on your own? Boy, Chisato can talk the talk. They don't stand a chance. Uh, uh, yes, my lady. Very well, then. It, it's an honor to have you accompanying us. Your safety is our highest priority. Shinojo, you can't really be agreeing to this. Well, the request is from Lady Hiragi herself. It is our duty to serve her in the utmost capacity. Yes, but that's not the problem here. Well, then, if we're through here, I suggest we set off at once. Dawdling will only allow potential thieves more time to prepare, no? Yes, my lady. Are you sure you want to travel in that close? There's no time to lose. Oh well. Start. Oh, this is an escort mission. Oh no. Okay, let's run forward. My lady, please stay back. We'll handle it. Not as well as we'll handle it. You're seriously considering taking this job? The turns are ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I play up the road for you guys on Rory. Monster sighted. Prepare to counterattack. Protect Lady Hiraki at all costs. We'll take care of this. Stay with Chisato. Watch out! More monsters inbound! Lady Hiraki, stay close! Can I get some drop from this guy? There's no drop at all. Man. We can take refuge in the village up ahead. How are you faring, my lady? I'm perfectly alright. You may stop here. The road to Narukami Island is just over there. In my letter, I requested Kamaji <laughs> to grant you a special travel permit from the Tenryo Commission. She just heard everything. Chisato. Of my appreciation. Please be careful. My lady. Huh. So that's how it is. I, I had a feeling something was amiss, but Shinojo, you... No, Lady Hiragi would never hide anything from us. I'm sure of it. But who is this Kamaji you speak of, my lady? I'm not afraid to say that... He's the one I love. The one you love? Shinojo, 
Did you honestly think that? What? No, I uh, <coughs> I was just <laughs> clarifying. That's all. I, I would Are you in love? Wildest dreams. Uh, <clears throat> you two needn't worry. Please forget that this ever happened. If my father catches word of it, I alone will be held accountable. Yes, of course, as you wish, my lady. But what will happen if your actions here are discovered, Chisato? Don't fret. My father has always been one to spoil me. The worst he'd do is sentence me to half a day without food or something to that effect. Huh. Paimon never suspected a guy like him could have a soft side. Well, it's his I daughter. Wish you a safe journey. I'm sure we will meet again. Bye, Chisato. Come now. Quit your staring and let's get moving. We've got goods to shift. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That is too high for you to aim, right? Sakura, Sakura, favor. Oh, that is something my friend recommend me to farm for. At least it's gonna give us a good reward, maybe. Okay, let's unlock this teleporter. And it's time. Time for a little game. <laughs> oh, that's quite far. She sounds so lesser. Uh, which one is this? This one. Oh hell no, I can't reach that. <laughs> okay, uh, right, I can't go that. I can't go there yet, sadly. Sadly for Alice, I can't play your music. Really? I can't go there? How? Guide me. I want to try the rhythm game. Ooh, new material. What greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? Do, do, do. Okay, you will joy. Or should I join you? How do I how do I multi again? I don't remember. <laughs> oh unable to join. Foreign quest need to be... Yeah, I need to read... No, 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 I need to... I need to do this one first, maybe. Uh... Wait, which one? Equivalent exchange. Equivalent exchange. This one. Where did I get this thing? Okay, make satisfying salad. One moment, one moment. <laughs> This one. Here you go. Oh, I think I clicked this one because I, I do her commission quest today and I missed click. There is two options, I think. Not done yet. <laughs> Hello. Uh, what? This one?
skip the land seat. Now what? Okay, one more man. <laughs> yeah, I feel like my ping. Well, the ping is is the same. It's the same number around one hundred. But the signal used to be three bar. But I don't know why recently it's go down to two. Hmm, sorry. <laughs> is your connection bad too? Yeah, my, my my number is around the same, around 100, but it should be green. Maybe they they try something in the back door. Might affect the server, who know? Isn't the new upgrade, not new upgrade, new patch coming soon? I don't know. Ooh. Oh, that's so far away. Da, da, da. Cocktail ingredient, huh? Blade bear. What is here? An impressive bounty. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Defeat or slam. <laughs> Hello. As long as there is no fire slam, we are fine. I suppose it's time we find Tom. Yeah? Oh. oh, wait! Kamori Tea House! Where are you guys coming from? Well, that everything. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's available now. Huh. Interesting. Inasuma. How do I get there? Or can I just walk to you? Hello. here no 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 i want to warp i'm here illusion uh huh <laughs> I know. I met her in Hong Kai Star Rail before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is uh, my first time meeting meet her in Genshin. Ooh. We 
you're gonna walk there. Which to commemorate this occasion. <laughs> oh. Can't use that. Oh, I see. Oh, we can ride a boat here. Ah. Mm hmm. Oh, I see. How do I do that? Spit bar. Nice boat. <laughs> well, at least they doesn't say nice ship. Otherwise, that's gonna be quite traumatizing for anyone who play old school vision novel called School Day. <laughs> If you run out of the energy, we will uh, we will ask things. Deja vu, huh? Wait, that is mean I can just use this ship to go from Liyue to Inazuma without doing the quest? Ah, okay, thank you. Hello. An impressive bounty. That look cool. A waypoint. <laughs> Hello. I just want to get entry. <laughs> All right, waypoint over there. Yeah, 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 take whatever you want. Don't worry. I'm not- I'm not the one who's gonna go everywhere to cry material anyway. An impressive bounty. <laughs> yeah, I feel like just you can't grab all the material you need to upgrade character in one day, right? I tried with Alekino and that it's not enough. It's not even close.
Oh, I wonder if there are any even in the sea or it's just for shipping around. A waypoint nearby. Oh, okay, that was in summer. Because I think there is no point keeping at the ship if there is nothing in the sea except for canvassing, right? Oh, okay, that is a weird point. Yay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come on. We got blocked by the kid. Journaling. Well, not journaling, but in my free time, I'm gonna try to open the map. Hmm? Okay. One moment. Okay, this area looks scary. Oh, he just fought. Ow! What is that? <laughs> Ow! hit by something from the sky doesn't give me good memory It's gonna take a while for me to find. Oh, it's for... What is the name again? Artifact. Laid bare. 
greater pleasure is there than the unexpected? Ow. Will it even stop? Oh, I didn't see that. The statue of the seven. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, don't worry, I'm gonna go grab the statue later when I'm free. During work, I can't do quests, but I can just run around and explore the map. Attention. What is this monolith fragment? Uh, no idea. Why is that? Staring into my eyes is ill advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Huh? Is that not everything? Oh, all of these. Come on. Okay. Where is the quest? Something oh, you, you can't see report? that. Go. You have my undivided. <laughs> okay, while waiting, I'm gonna go grab the statue. Ooh, we have viewpoint. Cool. Q Q Q. Do, do, do. Oh, I can't even eat co-op. Okay, that's fine. Hello, sir. Are you there? Alice? Anything nearby? Kiki Village. Okay, welcome back. Oh, that sound. Hello. Oh. Okay, okay. Don't worry. We are near the island, right? Fushito. Oh. Crystal prison. Ooh, look at that damage. Oh, I thought this 
Oh, I thought this was the the thing that unlock reward. <laughs> uh, down. Oh. I see, we're gonna ride a boss again. Wait, seaweed? What are these two? What happened? <laughs> what happened? That we are. <laughs> Is that because I get too close to the sand, or are we got struck <laughs> for ejection? <laughs> okay, don't have enough stamina for that. Cover some stamina first. Okay. Oh, thank you. Fear not. What's a little thunder when even lightning wouldn't dare strike our path? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh well. Maybe I'm more trees. No, I don't want to fight. Can I swim? Hmm. Okay, they can't. They can't go for the water. Okay, we leave the storm now. Good.
I see. Next on the agenda. Ah, I see the bay point. Okay. Oh, what are these? Oh, I thought it's gonna be weaker. It's just a you. Yeah, Unaki. Huh? What is that? Okay, I'm false. <laughs> Interesting. This shall not be my fate. Okay, let me warp up. Yeah, I fell down the waterfall. <laughs> yeah, I'm here, I'm here. Don't worry. Allow me. Ah, you have to go do something. Okay, let me look around here. What are these? <laughs> oh, I see. Let's go down to one. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, you back. Greater pleasure is there than the unexpected. <clears throat> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> is here. Ah, okay, thank you. Let's see. Turn to single player. Whoa, so this navigating. Ah, <laughs> I see. Ah, don't you worry, Jack Attack. We'll find that dog. Jack Attack. <laughs> 
Ito, it, it's just a myth. What, dog? Whoa, compadre! And Paimon! <laughs> you finally made it! Oh, man, have I missed you guys. <laughs> well, we oh, never yeah. met. And this is Dvorak, a musician from Fontaine. Jack Attack, you know these two, right? Hey, Mr. Dvorak, it's you! I don't know you. <laughs> ah, it's so wonderful to see you both again. <laughs> I feel like that lantern right was just yesterday. How have you been? Pretty good. So how did you end up hanging around <clears throat> with Ito? Is he helping you with the iridescence tour now? Oh, you better believe it, Minnie Melon. But that's only half the story. This is no ordinary iridescence tour. Me and Jack Attack are teaming up to turn this into the iridescent Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness. <laughs> rockin' for Life. Okay. This guy have a lot of expression, huh? Roll, huh? What, you never heard of Bull Chucker Rock before? Moo, moo, moo! Okay. <laughs> Don't try and understand it, Minnie Melon. It'll melt your mind. It's about letting loose. Come on, give us some lavender melon rock. Okay, speak for yourself, mister. Sounds like you're the one whose mind is melting. Um, <laughs> if he had Just any. Just a local legend I heard about. Right. Apparently, there was a war between the islands of Narukami and Watatsumi not too long ago. Is that right? Such a waste. When will people learn? Make rock and roll, guys. Not war. Uh, a tragedy, to be sure. Countless animals were affected by the fallout. A raven, a bakadanuki, a weasel thief, and many more sustained injuries. Uh, fair point. The animals didn't deserve that. But, I'm not to downplay it or anything, but didn't even worse stuff happen than that? In the eyes of a rocker, all living things are equally important. So, did this dog get injured too? No. The story goes that this dog was something like a ninkin. It would show up out of nowhere in the middle of a battle to rescue the injured animals and take them to safety. Oh. Rocking and rolling to the rescue. A king among canines. Woo! <laughs> there will always be a place for him in the Arataki gang. Where did you hear about this? In Rito. I was actually there while the war was going on. It inspired me to write a song about Wait, it. Wait, we had to go back to Rito again. I was again. planning to host a music festival around the same theme, but unfortunately... Uh, I couldn't convince my investors. Oh, yeah. I heard all about that. They claimed they had to cancel their plans because of an accident at sea, but <laughs> that was just a lame excuse. Uh, yes. They weren't optimistic about the potential return on investment. Plus, I don't know, there seemed to be some other risks they were worried about. What kind of risks? Good question. Risks only apparent to people with Mora to throw around, I suppose. I agree. <laughs> when people have too much mora, they lose their rock and roll spirit. They do, huh? So what do you mean by rock and roll spirit anyway? Okay. Uh, you know, the spirit of, uh, you <laughs> rock up, rock out, roll the dice, and roll with the punches. <laughs> and that sort of stuff. Uh, I don't understand. By that definition, aren't the investors the most rock and roll people in this scenario? Anyway, point is, those chumps are out, and Arataki Ito is in. I'm running the show from here on out. Oh, yeah, right! How are you gonna fill in for the investors? Do you even have any more? I have faith in Ito. He tells me that the Arataki gang is a small but well-known and influential organization in this area, and has even been known to rub shoulders with the local authorities. Isn't that right? Rub shoulders is putting it mildly. More <laughs> like they're always locking horns. Hey, don't look down your nose at the Arataki gang. I got connections, all right? Even the track commission listens to what I have to say. Really? Okay, Mr. Big Shot, whatever you say. You can doubt it all you want, Minnie Melon, but it's the truth. You know that guy in the Yashiro Commission? Well, he and I are officially bros. That's right. I'm talking about Toma, housekeeper extraordinaire. And there's the general from the Tenryo Commission, Kujo Tengu. I mean, sure, we're always ribbing each other, but it uh -huh. comes from a place of deep mutual respect. Are you sure? Mutual? Yeah, Paimon's not so sure about that. So what about a Hanjo Commission? Okay, fair. No first name contacts there. But the Arataki gang is a big contributor to the revenue stream. I have to say, he's why actor doing a pretty good job. Uh, fines? Huh? No! Uh, I meant... Try I to mean, express uh, his uh, personality. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
But that's not all. Let's not forget my contacts outside of the Tri Commission, huh? Amazing, talented people from all walks of life. Like, uh, oh, like the TCG legend Ayato. Oh yeah, he's made quite a name for himself in the TCG circle. Is Ayato the pro fact, TCG player? Now, Ayato of the South, Ito of the North. Ha <laughs> ha That's right. I'm the only serious competition he's got in all of Inazuma. Uh -huh. did, did you make that saying up? <laughs> then there's the Fox Lady, <laughs> VIP customer of Yukio's ramen stall and fellow participant in the Ramen Masters Championship. Yeah, okay, I had no idea what is that. The opponent. Also, you know that lonely god in Tenshukaku? Well, guess what? Turns out it was her lifelong wish to catch one of Arataki Ito's events. And I don't know what during the drama festival, either. the Tenryo Commission were worried that their almighty shogun might have too much fun and lose interest in running the government. That's why they invited me over to stay for a couple of days. Wow, look at you. Sounds like you're really going up in the world. Yeah. I don't think you can ever crease to admit. And I'll have to call you almighty bull checker. Um, well, I'll admit I heard a few exaggerations there myself, but regardless, Ito has helped me secure a venue for this event, and for that... I owe him my thanks. Ah, it's nothing. Don't mention it. My bro Goro sorted it all out for me. Let's both Goro. go thank him later. Wait, the... you know Goro? Asha guy, right? Yep. I always knew him as General Goro of the Resistance Fighters. But I had no idea there was more to the story. Turns out, he has another identity. Oh. You've, uh, heard of Miss Hina, right? Who? Miss Hina? So you... Hey, no need to yell, all right? Yes. Miss Hina. She's the one who told me. Again, who? After falling for the Tenryo Commission's tricks at the Drumalong Festival, I figured I'd find a new location this time, somewhere out of their reach, like uh, here, for example. So I wrote Miss Hina a letter, asking if she knew anything about the procedure for holding an event on Watatsumi Island. She wrote me back right away and said I could ask Watatsumi Island's general for help, and that his name was Goro. I was oh. like... What? General Goro is the general of all Watatsumi Island? <sighs> that was close. Paimon's with you now, but what did you think general meant? What do you mean? Isn't it like one general per squad or something? That's called a captain. <laughs> really? Huh. Well, either way, if it wasn't for Miss Hina, I never would have known. Pretty rock and roll, huh? <laughs> so rock and roll, yeah. Uh, good chat, compadre. I just remembered I got a meeting with Goro coming up. Gonna ask him about that dog situation. Gonna have to love you and leave you for now. Yeah. You you don't want us to join. We could help. <laughs> you guys focus on having a blast here at the festival. I think I can handle this little canine conundrum. There's still a few days left until the big party, so not everything's set up yet. But uh, the jam zone and the roasted lavender melon zone are ready for action. Okay. Have fun, compadre. Got a dash. Bye. <sighs> what a character. Kind of admire his enthusiasm, though. Yeah, he's quite well, energetic, like he's the three right? Of us for now, why don't I show you the jam zone to start with? Yay! At least I'm in time for the event, right? Okay. Before we do that, I. The statue nearby, right? Okay, that is not nearby. Ooh, here. I hope I don't have to walk far away. Otherwise, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> here we are. I've supplied musical scores and instruments from various regions, including a horn I personally brought from Fontaine. You can play whatever music you like. If you get tired, the roasted lavender melon zone is just over there. Ito says that lavender melons are <clears throat> rock and roll fuel. So Aww. what do you think? Wanna give it a try? Maybe. Oh, cut that out! Oh, lucky Ito's gone, otherwise Paimon would never hear the end of it. <laughs> Let's change the topic. What other fun stuff is there to do here, Mr. Dvorak? <clears throat> Well, we're planning to invite some more music enthusiasts, and we're still getting some supplies together, so we can decorate the place a little. But it could take some time. The Arataki gang has shifted their focus to the dog situation ever since I brought it up. Only one of them is actually sticking to the plan. 
Her name is Kuki Shinobu. Oh, She's out delivering invitations I see her right before. Now. Yep, that's the Arataki gang for ya. Everyone else goofs around while Shinobu gets things done. You see the boss? We should help or out. Something. We can't let this event get totally derailed when Shinobu's out there doing her part. Oh, I mean... Are you sure? Yeah, we can handle oh, it. We are expert at running errands. Useful. Don't worry. We're starting to get behind schedule, and a couple extra pairs of hands could make all the difference. No problem. We're happy to help. So you need us to find some music lovers and gather materials for decorating. Was that it? Exactly. According to the original plan, we aim to finish everything in five days, and then the big party can begin. Actually, uh, give me a second. I'll make you a checklist of all the outstanding tasks. That way it'll all be clearer. Oh, also, one other tidbit to share with you. Ito is planning to perform a song on stage on the final day of the event. Oh. Ugh, typical bull chucker always has to be the center of attention. <laughs> why is her why acting improve a lot from the early on in the story? Okay, why don't you do a song to Paimon? Oh, Paimon? Yeah, she a lot more expressive that. now. And uh, Kamala sure Angle in this storytelling is quite nice too. Compared to the early story. <laughs> Those are some bold claims, Miss Paimon. But that kind of confidence would serve that you well they improve on the a lot in terms of storytelling. Oh, I'm quite exciting to see what okay. happened in the later part of the story then. Done, Mr. Dvorak. Great. Feel free to take a look around. I'll bring it over in a few minutes. Uh, so what do we have to do? Go there. Hello. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Hello. Wow, Shinobu and Hazo. What a surprise. <laughs> This truly is a pleasant surprise. Although oh, ha not that I surprising, to be had never noticed that this I guy had a horror. Shinobu that I had a sneaking suspicion we might run into you. Young detective working at Tenjiro Commission. Okay. <laughs> Doshin Shikanoin was talking about you constantly the whole way here. I guess the universe answered his prayers. Deputy of Baraki Gang. Okay. Eh, it's called intuition. The, the fixer of the gang, I guess. Relevant moments, just the way my mind works. Okay, get to see you both. I sure wasn't expecting Hazo to be the first one to show up. Boss nagged me to prioritize the Tenryo Commission invitations. He specifically requested Madame Kujo Sara and Doshin Shikanoin. So why isn't Sara here? <sighs> Almost certainly because she has no <laughs> desire whatsoever to see Ito. In her defense, here's what was written on the invitation letter. Kujo Tengu, come meet me at the top of the Sanganamiya Shrine. Let's go nuts and have a totally rock and roll sumo wrestling match. <laughs> Is that how you are the woman out? But then wouldn't Kokumi come and throw Sara off cue? All that stamping around on her roof, the noise would drive her crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, Madame Kujo Sara's response was much more magnanimous than mine would have been. She gave us a basket of lavender melons to bring as a gift. Oh. Magnanimous? <laughs> I'm not so sure. Something tells me she's trying to send a message. What message? If that Oni brat wants to pick a fight with me, there will be plenty of lavender melons waiting for him at the police station. You assume that says more about you than her. <laughs> so what about the other basket of lavender melons, huh? Is that one from you? What message are you trying to send? <laughs> the other basket is actually from a few of us at the police station. I chipped in, and so did some other Doshin who've arrested Ito before, and so did some of Ito's former cellmates. Oh. So, I guess this basket of lavender melons is our way of saying, there'll always be a place for you here. Maybe just give boss the melons and don't mention that part. Sure. Well, my work is done here, anyway. Now that I've delivered the lavender melons and said hello to the traveler, I should probably get going. Bye-bye. Uh, aren't you going to stay for the event? <laughs> don't worry. I'll definitely be back for the big party. But I have some business to attend to in Rito first. That's quite far away. Yeah, detective sounds busy. Have a safe travel. around all over the place. 
Oh, wait, Rito! Do you happen to know anything about a mystery Ninken that appeared during the war? Apparently a lot of people in Rito were talking about it. Ah, uh, the dog, yes? That was the inspiration behind this music festival, wasn't it? Shinobu told me all about it. Oh, never mind. Paimon just thought a detective might have the inside scoop. I'm only speculating here, but from experience, I'd say it's probably just a local legend. I doubt the dog even exists. What's wrong? From the look on your face, you've got a vested interest in this situation. Hmm. Interesting. Well, since I'm going to Rito anyway, I can always ask around and see where it leads. Okay. <laughs> Don't be silly. If this matters to you, that's a good sign that it'll turn out to be something that interests me too. <laughs> Stay tuned for more info. See you all soon. I wonder if we met like that dog know, before like in like the side quest or something. Well, I better get back to delivering these invitations. Gotta make sure the big party's a success. In that case, guess it's time for us to get to work too. Wonder how that checklist is coming along. Sorry to keep you waiting. Here's that list for you. If you can work your way through all this, we'll be back on track. Great! Perfect timing, Mr. Dvorak! We'll get on it right away! Okay. Thank you. I'm very grateful for your help. If you feel like flexing your musical muscles to take a break at any point, just come and find me in the jam zone. Also, we can... Oh, we done already on the first part. So we can play some music now. Okay, don't let the answer is yes. Ah, uh, what is this? Oh, I see. Uh, checklist. Okay, do I have to do this on my own later? What is this? More achievement. Ah, and what? Unlock, uh, okay. Okay, let's play some music. I never tried this before. Okay, let's try normal because it's have Primal Gym there. Oh, I have to walk here. Hello, would you like to? Yes. Great. Okay. Ah, oh, this is for. Oh, that's sound about right. Hello. Would you like Okay, can Great. we play now? I okay. Let's start with normal. How do I play this? Uh what button I have to press? You don't tell me. It's the JKL All right Is it a song from the game or is this a custom that they made for the event? I don't know It's nice though Ah. <laughs> I come on. Why did I have to be six button? Interesting that there is no sound effect when we hit the note. Usually the music game have sound effect in 
the north, right? Maybe that might be too much for them to code it. Oh, I missed that. I wonder if I play harder difficulty, will the uh, normal unlock or not? Yay! Setting... Oh... Oh, that look fun! Uh, breakout effect. Synchronize link between button. Oh, there, there is actually an effect for this. Okay, let's have some on and see. Based on score, set speed. Okay, let's try in here. Let's try hard and see if it unlocks both of them or not. Alright. And our plan to finish Act 1 of... Uh, Inazuma. Look like it's going shame now. It's going chamber now. <laughs> well, let me play a few songs and we're gonna go back to the story, alright? At least there is no holding. Yeah, ah, ah, I shouldn't start talking. <laughs> okay, do we have to release? No, I don't have to release on on note. That nice. Da -da -da. If I had to release on note, that's gonna be quite troublesome for me. I will miss that. The fact that I can hold indefinitely is nice. At least it's more casual for me. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you can try. I think I'm gonna play just one or two more. I can try your map now, at least. So that I can go back to the story. <laughs> at least I want to finish Act 1 today. I can go quite late because I start quite early today. How do I play your beat map, though? Hello. What? Great. I've been looking for... Like you did. Search. Oh, I see. Okay, I know now how. Okay, if you give me a code, I can. Oh, uh, there are a lot of them. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will in enter them one moment. How do I like this? Maybe. What is this? Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. So I just mark like this, right? And I should be able to find them later. Medium to hard. That a lot of zero. And this one. Okay. 
I need to ask, what do you mean by fun? <laughs> what do you mean by fun? Let's try fun first and we will see then. Okay, let's try this one first then. Okay, let's see. Where is the music? <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, really? Is there a fail in this game? <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> <laughs> no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Okay, where is medium? That nine nine silo silo. This one? Maybe. I would see where it's coming from. <laughs> no beat. Uh, can I? Maybe if I go faster, it might be clearer to see. Let's see. Oh no! Nope. Let's see. Okay, I have no idea how to press all these buttons. And all the holding node. Oh no. <laughs> how? How can you play this? Oh. <laughs> how? What is your finger made of if you can play this? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, miss. Ah, I placed the wrong button again. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ha, 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 <laughs> I just press everything. <laughs> Is this thing people play? Okay, I missed this one too. Yay! Hey, I got two stars. <laughs> Okay, which one is the easy one again? This one? Let's see. I never see this music before. I should be able to do this, right? It's easy, you say. That's not easy in my book. Oh, great. Okay, that is not easy at all. <laughs> uh. Oh, 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 Can I just press every button? No. The answer is no. Uh, I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost track now. How can you control all of these fingers? How do you play this on mobile? Ah. Uh, <laughs> that is, this is not easy. This is not easy. No way this is easy. Oh, I missed that. 
that. <laughs> ah, the music is nice though. Stop! Oh, that's not fair. <laughs> hey, two star. Will it be safe? Okay, safe in here. I will try this out later. Maybe just one more. Let's try another one of easy one that you made. Let's see. Oh. Okay, I'm already failed. Haha! <laughs> I can't do the whole button that comes many as one. That is so intimidating. Ah, how and ah, I usually sit easy. Okay, I messed up the hole and the press. Yep, no way. I. Yeah, I see you typing something. At least I can't read right now. <laughs> ah. Yeah, there is no way I can go past that without hat tracing. I have no idea. The combo of finger I need to press for now. Yeah, this is, uh, how do you call, forgiving. <laughs> At least there is no fail. Otherwise, it should be fail all long ago, right? It's easy, see? Really? <laughs> okay, I will try the one you're about to make. Uh-huh. Oh, wrong one. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, hmm. Okay, let me copy this, the last one. Okay, last song before we go to the main story again. Well, as long as it's only used no more than two fingers at a time, yeah, it's easy. Whenever you in involve more than two fingers, then my motion control is not that good. Especially when you talk about my... Uh, eye and hand coordination, I'm not good with that thing. Okay, this looks like something I can get perfect from like a couple of try. Oh, oh, that is too easy. Okay, the little part is confusing that we have to use one hand for two buttons. Oh, 
Eh. Eh. Well, at least that is forgiving. Hey, three star. Okay, let me put in the last one from your brother. Okay. Yay! <laughs> okay, if I do hard, I guess normal too. Good to know. That means I can play all of this on either hard or pro. Well... Okay, I don't know if I can go back here by teleporting or not. Let's go grab that statue. Before we go back to the story. Um, over there. So I think I have to go around, right? Uh-oh. Yay! <laughs> what? What am I doing? Late bear. Okay, time to cram up. Ah? Uh? Oh, okay. Okay, it's not that high. Man! I have to go there though. Uh, how can I use this thing? Uh, no idea. Well, I can cram up that, I think. Hello! Please leave me alone. I just want to explore. Uh, yeah, I have to jump. Okay, this should be enough. Ah, there is a warp point up here. Good, good, good. <sighs> Are you sure I'm pro? I'm just fall down the waterfall earlier. Are you sure? I think I failed most of them. And except for the one that you say are easy, I can barely get too easy, right? It's my lucky day. And the one your brother made, yeah. Okay, that's gonna. Oh, how do I get up there? That way, maybe. Can I go across with my stamina? Ooh. Ooh, yeah. If I hold, maybe I can. Anyway, <laughs> let's swim. I think I'm gonna cram up from that part, that grip. That should work, right? Uh, up here. <laughs> okay, at least this 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 grip is kind of easy to climb. <laughs> mm, so many steps.
Now unlock the map. Hey. Uh, do I have any? No, I don't. All right, time to go back here. I thought they didn't drop anything. Okay. <laughs> Can I do something for up from that dash? Something with which to commemorate this occasion. Why there are so many chairs? That's quite generous of them. Transfixed. Yeah. To the fairy. Okay, I need to heal. Any more enemy? No. <laughs> Aww. Beauty. Is this like a hub? Yeah, this looks like a hub because we have alchemy and everything. No one can stop me, right? I hope not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, 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 don't jump down. <laughs> you can find everything everything. Oh, wrong way. This way, this way. We don't serve the general public. I'm afraid you'll have to leave. Wait! We're not the general public! Well then, you must be a couple of wandering outlanders that snuck into the nation, judging by your attire. <gasps> uh, should we shake so our clothes? Oh, uh, what Paima means to say is... Can we have invitation letter? Hmm. The Yashiro Commission seal. This must be from Mr. Toma. It seems there's more to you than meets the eye. In which case, welcome to the Komore Tea House, a safe haven for the Yashiro Commission. Mm -hmm. Well, that sounds more like it. Hmm. Uh, so we go inside. Hello. Well, now that we're here, where's Toma? <sighs> Jaime doesn't see him anywhere. Do you think he forgot his promise to meet us? Who forgot their promise? I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. <laughs> what? Is that so you're pulling a plank, 
<laughs> Relax. No need to look so surprised. I take it this is the first time you've seen me in this form? Where did the human-looking Toma go? Huh. So you didn't see anything like this when you were in Liyue Harbor? Ah, oh, now that you mention it, this does suddenly seem like Can I try to ordinary. stab uh, the counter with my sword to see if he's gonna return to his human form or not? <laughs> I know a dog when I see one. <laughs> alright, alright. I've had my fun. Hey! You're this close to getting an ugly Oh, so you're not mister. hiding behind a counter. <laughs> I see. Well, I've had some time to kill, given that I've been waiting here for you for so long, as was the case in Rito. So I came up with this little fun greeting for when you arrived. But in all seriousness, I would like to apologize about that little test you went through earlier. Uh -huh. Though it was quite necessary. It helped us determine whether or not to bring you before Miss Kamisato, and whether you had the courage to face the lightning alongside us. The lightning, huh? Don't think that Paimon's gonna forgive you just because you're getting all serious now. <laughs> Sorry, did I overdo it? My apologies. Hmm, too fast the lightning. Let me just say this. You've often found yourself skirting the rules from the very beginning, haven't you? Naturally, this is due to your unwavering and resolute determination. A long time ago, we had a friend who was much the same. But when the lightning struck... You mean Kasuha friend? Ah, so you've heard of his story. Hmm. Hmm? His light still burns all the more brightly. So, are you gonna meet with... Uh, what her name again? Ayaka? Yes, of course. I will bring you to the Kamisato residence where the Yashiro Commission is located. But before that, there is one other place I was hoping you both would accompany me to. Oh? Where? I would like you to come with me to the statue of the Omnipresent God. It's still under construction now, but you can already see it from practically anywhere on Narukami Island. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Damn, this sour ship is quite nice. I should buy more of this. But it's not. It's not vinegar, right? I don't know what is the. Um, what is the thing they make this ship so sour? Maybe it's just a lamb or lemon. <laughs> but definitely but not vinegar. Vinegar ship doesn't should have some smell. This one doesn't have the vinegar smell. But it really made my mouth watery eating this. So you've already heard of the Vision Hunt Decree. Yeah, what is the reason behind the decree? Before I try to explain, I should perhaps remind you first that Mondstadt is the city of freedom, and Liyue is the city of contracts. As for Inazuma, it's known as the Nation of Eternity. The Raiden Shogun is both the nation's most powerful ruler and its deity. The eternity yeah, she in is, the Akon, is her right? endless and unchanging will to rule over Inazuma. As such, she relies on the Tri Commission to regulate the nation's affairs and the Sokoku Decree to limit the people's movement. The Shogun wishes to keep Inazuma in stasis, allowing the stream of time to flow from one end to the other without disturbing it for all time. 
Mm. Seems like every god has their so own she really wants to close the country course, and stop everything from developing. As for the reason behind the recent vision hunt decree, perhaps the Shogun believes that visions grant people the power to change, and that her eternity doesn't allow for such instability to exist. Whatever the case, the fact is that the Raiden Shogun has dispatched the Tenryo Commission to scour the nation for visions, embedding each one in this statue. And this statue of the omnipresent god can be seen as Inazuma's symbol of eternity. But if that's the case, wouldn't you say that the Raiden Shogun is being... Oh, I don't know. Selfish? <laughs> Only outlanders such as yourselves would ever dare speak out so directly against the Raiden Shogun. Mm. And yet, I agree. The Vision Hunt Decree is something that simply should not exist. And Miss Kamisato has been committed to fighting it since the day it was announced. Oh? Huh? Ah? Uh. Huh? Hey, are you okay? You look like your mind is elsewhere. What was that? Sound? What sound? I didn't hear anything. Did something happen? Yeah, you touched the statue, and then? And then what? I hear people aspirations. Aspirations? Hmm. That would seem to confirm the saying. Have you heard it before? That when a person's ambition reaches a certain strength, the gods look upon them with favor. That is where visions come from. In other words, a person's vision represents their ambition. So if what you've just said is true, then the ambitions of these people are stronger than I imagined. All right, time for the next stop on our tour of Narukami Island, the Kamisato residence. <sighs> Finally! Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so far away. Hmm. Here, maybe here, go there. Yeah, let's go around from the south to the west, not west, east. <laughs> My direction. I think that should work. Yeah, I have to go grab this one first. It's gonna be a wrong walk. So we're gonna shield. Oh, shiny. Oh, I remember this thing. I heard my friend complain a lot about farming this bug. <laughs> I think she use it's used for Overruled. I don't know who, maybe Lydon. Oh. But I know my that turn. they try to get everyone to everyone world to get the bug. <laughs> Sally can't help them because I don't play the game. Back then, I think I still playing something like Puzzle and Dragon or something. Okay, need to heal. What did I play back then? Puzzle and Dragon and Princess Connect, maybe. Don't remember. Oh, I missed the chest. Brave Frontier, Prussian Dragon. An impressive bounty. What else? Back then. What else is I play? Maybe that is the time I stop myself from playing mobile game. Don't remember. <laughs> oh, this might look beautiful. 
Yeah. Oh, that looks so nice. Yeah, as long as I follow the road, I should get there, I think. Ooh. Huh? Hello! How can I help you? Hmm? <laughs> no? Okay. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> so it's best view from the past. What is this? Huh? No. You don't know what those tanuki do. Alright, we reach our destination. Let's see if we can reach. What is that? AR35. About yourself. Uh, nothing right now. Hello! So, this is the kind of place where the big shots of Inazuma live, huh? Well, it's hard to top the jet chamber, it to be right? Snazzier. Welcome at last to the Kamisato residence, honored guests. Miss Kamisato is delighted to finally meet you. Himigimi you keep going on about? That is such uh, a name that hard to pronounce. <clears throat> Himigimi. Oh, uh, behind the screen? Yes. <laughs> As the daughter of the Yashiro Commission, this is how Miss Kamisato is accustomed to receiving guests. Consider it a time-honored tradition within the Yashiro Commission. Forgive me if this is an unwelcome surprise. Mm-hmm. I think I understand. Uh, Super important person after all. Please forgive my lack of courtesy for receiving you in this fashion, especially following such a long and wearisome journey over the sea. Mm -hmm. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation, and Toma assures me that you do indeed possess the power to change the tide of the times. At present in Inazuma, in the name of the Vision Hunt Decree, the people's aspirations are being senselessly trampled underfoot. Though the Yashiro Commission serves the Shogun, it is the people with whom we share close bonds, given the contact we are required to have with them in the performance of our duties. A Commission's power rises and falls with the trust of their people. Thus, we cannot remain indifferent to this situation without mm. also remaining indifferent to our own fate. Traveler, lend us your power and we can... Uh, I didn't come here to start a rebellion. Oh. Rebellion. Ah, <sighs> see, milady, it's just like I said. This will take us nowhere. Yeah, I'm going to leave now. No, please, wait, please, don't go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? I will introduce you to the Raiden Shogun on one condition. You must fulfill three small wishes on my behalf. Okay, now we're talking. They pertain to three whose visions were taken from them. Perhaps once you've met them, you will understand. Oh, so he, she wants us A to feel. Uh, what is the word again? Empathy. Empathy for and them, the right? determined to become the best in the world. Does Paimon get that right? Correct. Please do all you can to help them. Okay. <laughs> then you have my gratitude. <laughs> I'm sure you'll do great. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where do we go? Oh. Easy. Let's see. Where is the person Ayaka told us about? Why are you doing this? Why leave all of a sudden after all these years? Precisely. It's much too sudden. We've had no time to prepare. The children are desperate for you to take them out to play. Please, we urge you to reconsider. Mm -hmm. That must be the guy Ayaka told us about. Let's go over and see. Ah, uh, you must also be here to try and convince Tejima to stay. Uh, what happened? Tejima has protected this place ever since he arrived here 30 years ago. Keeping out the treasure hoarders, fending off any monsters that draw near, resolving quarrels between the villagers. He has put an enormous amount of work into looking after this place, and we all think the world of him. But now, all of a sudden, he says he plans to leave us. Aww. We can't help but wonder, was it something we did? We will gladly apologize if that's the case. All we want is for him to stay. Uh, how about you, Kenjiro? <sighs> so, why the change? If you want my opinion, something to do with the Vision Hunt Decree. It's clear that Tejima had done nothing wrong. Uh, and still, they uh, confiscated his vision. Yep. After that, he became a completely different person. I can't claim to fully understand it, but I could tell that he'd lost something very important to him. He went off on a walk, alone, circled the village a few times, and then out of the blue, he announced that he was going to leave and become a wanderer. Truth be told, we aren't sure whether trying to keep him here is the right thing to do. But equally, it doesn't feel right to let him leave when he's in this state. He's a lost soul. Mm. Seems like he's a well-respected guy around here. So... Can you tell me your story? Yes, be Tejima. So what's made you want to up and leave all of a sudden? Me? I... It's not a question of why I want to leave, but a question of what reason I would have to stay. Well, everyone depends on you. True. But that's not why I chose to stay here. And what made me want to come here 30 years ago? And why have I never wanted to leave in all that time? I don't have answers to those questions because I can't remember anymore. Ever since oh, they took my his ambitions away, like stay within the a, vision, a slice right? Of my memory is gone. In the past, his aspiration. I knew I wanted to stay here. But whatever resolve I had then, it's gone now. So I thought, what's to stop me from moving around instead? The what are you aiming to achieve for going around? Oh. Okay. Well, in that case, if we help you rediscover the reason you chose to stay, you won't need to leave anymore, right? Hmm. But if you can't remember anything, it's not gonna be easy. Oh, maybe if you just try a little <laughs> harder to remember, then... If it's that easy, Paimon. Yeah. If it's that easy. Oh, that reminds me. Last time I brought Tejima some fruit, I do believe I saw him writing in a diary. Mm, I keep a diary? If you say so. I honestly can't seem to remember. Oh, yes. Yes, you do. And what's more, I remember you saying at the time that you wanted to make a note of a few interesting things. Things which would prove very important at a later date. Perfect! So if we want to keep Tejima from leaving, we just need to find his diary. If you don't mind, we will leave you to oh, find yes, the keep diary. Something. I thought that's we the should head back to the village to inform the others of Tejima's situation.
fire crew in there. Let me get some food. This looks like Tejima's diary, all right. Let's see what we have here. Today, the villagers and I got together to cook dried raised salted fish. Aww. I messed up and burned mine a little, so I had to pretend that it was Black Snake Head instead. Today, I helped rescue a kid who had fallen in the water. After I pulled him out, he told me that his best friend Bamboo was still in the water. I searched the water the whole afternoon <laughs> before finding out that Bamboo was the name of his pet crab. Really? I was flying today. The string broke, so I chased after it as fast as I could. I soon realized I was never going to get it back. So I just found somewhere to sit and watch as it flew away into the distance. Sound like a really hmm. peaceful Seems life. Seems like an average right. diary of daily village life. Huh? Wait, there's more! I went to pray at the shrine again today and stayed there a while. The omamori you gave me has faded a little, but it is still my most treasured possession. Now that's the kind of info we're looking for. Time to pay a visit to the shrine. Who give him the omamori? Hmm. So this is the omamori Tejima wrote about. Hmm, interesting. Looking at the color and the design, Paimon would have thought it belonged to a child. But anyway, if he had this with him all the time, there's a chance some of his elemental energy remained on it. Do you think that it might come in handy? Maybe. And I just saw that. Let me grab that thing. Uh, let me go up. Thank you. Uh. Alright. Okay. Now. Oh, you did elemental sight. Not right. Okay, let's try again. Oh, here we are. This seems to be somewhere. Oh, is this a tombstone? A the soil looks like it's been disturbed. Maybe Tejima buried something. Oh, no. Precious Something that happened oh, no. in the village all these years? Must be something pretty amazing if it made him stick around for 30 years. Do Let's not dig it up. It up. No? <sighs> oh, uh, okay. Like okay, I thought it was gonna be like, uh, Must have been written a, really a cop or something ago. that bully here. If we become village. separate during war, Sounds go away from me at Conda village. There will be a safe house for us there. Okay. Friends, sibling, or a girl? Huh. So the reason Tejima came here was to wait for someone. But he's been here for 30 years. Oh, guess they didn't show up in the end, huh? Well, let's go give Tejima his stuff back and take it from there. Ooh, stream for four hours already make me sleepy. Well, I'll How be... can people stream for like six certainly my handwriting. to seven hours? I, I wonder. guess the Omamorian letter belonged to me too. <laughs> but I have no memory of anything that's written in this diary. Still... It's clear that I was waiting for someone here, and that I chose to wait for 30 years. Over the years, I must have made a note of anything interesting. Anything that I could share with her when we were uh, finally reunited. Okay. 
and just look at all the things that did happen over the years. The time has flown by so quickly. Thirty years feels like the blink of an eye. How could I have forgotten something so important to me? Mm. Mm. Now that I think about it, when my vision was yeah. taken from me, it whatever felt like link been in the vision is a part out. of that person. Love, regret, everything I felt for her, it's all disappeared. Does that make you feel sad? No. Not especially. After all, I've forgotten who she was. Her face, her voice, the things we experienced together. I barely recall any of it. It's as if she'd never been in my life to begin with. Is that a good thing or the bad thing? As if all these years I don't think this is the thing that hazy dream. Lie didn't want to happen, right? Do you still plan on leaving? I think maybe not. If this is something I waited most of my life for, I suppose I should carry on waiting. Although, what if she were to turn up eventually, only to find I didn't remember so much as her name? Wouldn't that be upsetting for her? When I think about it like that, I do feel a slight tinge of sadness in my heart. How curious. Why am I thinking like this when I don't even remember who she is? It's just like that feeling of emptiness. The feeling that something is... missing. Aww. <sighs> Thank you both for helping me reconnect with my reason for staying here. I shall remain here and keep waiting for her. Hmm, seems to I be wonder if we're gonna get a okay. continual story of him. But still... Makes Paimon really sad. Yeah. Seems it's just like Ayaka and Tomo were saying. If you lose your vision, you lose all your hopes and dreams too. That certainly explains the state Tejima was in earlier. At least we were able to help him, weren't we? <sighs> well, we not exactly. Well, let's go find the next person. Help him. We well we help him, but okay, he not return to normal. Nice. Okay, we reach 35. Okay, we unlock this thing. Ah, well that fine. New one. No. Okay, this. Experience. No. Hey. Okay, that's something. Alright, time to do this. Oh, we don't have. Oh, we have that. I believe we have that. Okay, we have to go. Oh, lucky. Yeah, let's go to alchemy table and craft those material. This one, I need three. This one, I need two. Two or three, I don't remember. Let's grab three for now. Alright, that should be enough. Okay, we only need two. Nice. Oh, we still use the same material. Okay, that good. Now this one. Hey. Some call me ex. Nice. Okay, you still use the same thing, except this thing. <laughs> 45. I think I got like 
10 in two day. That gonna take a while. I wonder if I can reach that next week. 40. Should can I reach 40 next week? I hope not. Because 40 is like summer rule, right? I want to at least finish this before I reach 40. Hello. They say the Tenryo Commission is directly controlled by the Shogun. They're the ones responsible for maintaining law and order in Inazuma. The ones actually enforcing the Vision Hunt Decree. But why would they take action against one of their own? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it. Huh? There seems to be some commotion over there. Let's go see what's happening. I'll ask one more time. Do you intend to withhold this month's emergency provisions? The entire clan is counting on that food. We demand an explanation. How many times do I have to say it? I don't know anything about emergency provisions. You dare deceive us? Those provisions are essential. Do you understand? Not some goods to be pocketed by greedy samurai. You samurai think you can just do whatever you please? The Tenryo Commission will hear of this. Uh, emergency food? Oh, huh? We have one right Who here. You? You interest? Kurosawa's gang, no doubt. Hey, uh, the equivalent, what? and we, we, just happen to be passing we will we share heard some. The commotion and came to see what the matter was. I see. You seem to have come just at the right time. Perhaps you can help us settle this matter. This is Kurosawa. He's a samurai and a member of the Shogun's army. They issue emergency provisions to the area, and he's the one responsible for distribution. In the past, we'd simply ask him for provisions and everything would be delivered. Now, he suddenly refuses to give us anything. He's keeping the provisions for himself. I just know it. We'll starve without them. No one seems to care about us. We used to think Kurosawa was a kind man, but he's shown his true well, colors. he got his vision the took away. The other samurai. It's no wonder all the visions have been confiscated. The Raiden Shogun doesn't need people like him helping her rule the nation. This must be one of the people Ayaka asked us to help. But why would she ever want us to help someone like him? Maybe we should talk to Kurosawa and see what he has to say. Hmm. Hello. Are you my okay? I've never even heard of these emergency provisions. I don't know whether it's rumors or whether they're trying to blackmail me. But either way... It's ridiculous. If I was hoarding supplies, would I still be the poor man I am today? My own family can barely get by as it is. No, if you'll excuse me, I've got other matters to attend to. I heard you lost your vision recently. And that's the first bit of truth I've heard all day. The Shogun's army told me that I was unworthy of my vision. And they said I was slacking off in my work. Apparently... I'd even disappointed the Raiden Shogun. And that's why they confiscated my vision. Well, that's strange. You were helping enforce the Vision Hunt Decree. Why would you be unworthy of your vision? Yeah. To be perfectly honest, I don't seem to remember the details. All I know is that I would perform certain things every month. But I don't recall what they were. And it's not just that. I have this unsettling feeling like like someone owes me something does it have to do with the missing emergency provisions i didn't take any like i said if i was taking them for myself i wouldn't be going through such hard times right now to top it all off my house was just raided by treasure hoarders which is why i came here in the first place i was chasing after them when i got held up by these two if you don't believe me Go find the treasure hoarders yourself. If there were any emergency provisions to be had, they would have found them. Huh. He seems to be telling the truth, but we better confirm. Let's go round up those treasure hoarders and see what they have to say. We should be able to follow their tracks. They couldn't have gone too far. Alright, where? Yeah, not too far. 
There are so many world quests nearby. I don't. Okay, you guy, maybe. Hello, sir. We really outdid ourselves this time. All those samurai houses packed with goods. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. I mean, besides that one house. You haven't seen anything yet. There'll be a lot more where this came from. Today's just the beginning. I'll be leading you all on an epic journey of pillage and plunder that will go down in hoarder history. Ah, uh, sad demand, new boss. for you. We are here. Seem like the treasure hoarders were after. Let's teach him a lesson. Hello. Bye bye. Oh, there goes all the mora. We worked hard to steal that, you know. Um. Come on, boss. Are you sure that call work hard? <clears throat> Not bad, kid. You ever think of joining the treasure hoarders? We could use someone like you. Not lightly. Kurosawa. Oh, I remember. So he's the one who sent you after us, huh? <laughs> Just our luck. I knew we shouldn't have hit that place. So what did you see inside? Was it stuffed with food supplies? <sighs> food supplies? <laughs> you kidding? That place was a complete mess. All we found was a strange looking box, hopefully with valuables inside. I didn't want anyone else to see it, so I was planning on opening it myself hey, once we got back. Your underling is behind you. Now that you've caught us, how about we make a deal? That little box for our freedom. What do you say? You've got a deal. Now show us what's in the box. Huh? What the? Th there's nothing in here but IOUs. Yeah. A lot of them too. I owe you. And they all seem What's to be that? made out to the owner of a general goods store, a Miss Aoi. We're talking tons of Mora here. Oh. We need to talk to this Miss Aoi and get to the bottom of this. As for you guys, you're free to go. Just pray that our paths don't cross again. <laughs> yes, of course. So we redeemed ourselves for some IOUs. Uh, does that mean we broke even? Shut it. Let's just get out of here. Alright. Looks like someone is in debt. Let's see. Welcome to Tsukumomono Groceries. We've got everything you need. Can I help you find something? Or perhaps there's something you want to inquire about? About these things. Ah, so you're friends of Kurosawa, I take it? <laughs> perhaps you're here to pay off his debts. Whoa, whoa! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're just here to learn where they all came from. How did Kurosawa end up owing you so much money? Did he buy anything super expensive here? Let me think. Kurosawa would come regularly to purchase large quantities of foodstuffs. He'd always put the Aww. payment on his own account. He buy everything However, for them. the price of provisions began to skyrocket recently, and his salary was no longer enough to cover the cost. So, he started writing out IOUs to cover whatever he couldn't afford of the usual amount. So that's how he was getting those emergency provisions. But why did he have to purchase a usual amount? If the price is increased, couldn't he just buy less? Well, if you think about it, the citizens receiving the emergency provisions must have been carefully calculating how much they needed to sustain them each time. Kurosawa thought that it would be quite the disappointment for them if they found they didn't have enough, especially after such long and careful planning. So he deemed it necessary to take on the debt rather than let the people down. Wow. Why are you so selfless? All the That's bad. That's really bad. Expense. And no one ever appreciated what he did. They just complained and held him accountable. People's attitudes will always reflect their circumstances. In the face of hardship, nobody cares to think twice. Uh, if you ask me, had Kurosawa told everyone the truth about the supplies from the start, 
then there wouldn't be such a severe backlash now. Of course, I'm sure there would still have been some unrest. What he was doing was truly a thankless deed. As for why he chose to spend his own money on emergency provisions and never tell anyone, I'm still not too clear myself. If you're still curious, why don't you go ask him yourself? Well, he doesn't remember. I see. That reminds me, it seems that his vision was recently confiscated. Most unfortunate. If he doesn't clear the debt on his name, he'll have no choice but to sell that sword that is so dear to him. Sword? What sword? Oh, didn't he tell you? He possesses a very valuable blade. He's carried it for years now. I've asked him about its origins. He told me that it was a gift from his father, Aww. that it was too precious to sell. In hindsight, I regret that I never made an offer on it. Everything has its price, at least that's what I think. Why don't you ask him about the sword yourself? Perhaps it'll even provide you with the answers you're looking for. Oh, but before you go, if you would kindly settle today's bill. Ah, uh, <laughs> no. But we didn't buy anything. <laughs> Information is also ah. a kind of commodity. Okay, we can Wouldn't you agree? We can Don't worry. Pay you for that. I won't charge much for information about Kurosawa. Nothing we ever discussed was explicitly confidential anyway. Oh, let me think. 2,000 mora should be a fair price. Yeah. At least we now know where the emergency provisions are coming from. Plus, we found out that Kurosawa has a priceless sword in his possession. Let's go talk to Kurosawa again. And okay. <laughs> How are you doing, Kurosawa? This way. Over there. Um, what are you doing here all by yourself? Where did those other two go? I presented them with a choice. Either they left or I drew my sword. They left. It turned out to be a real time saver, actually. Perhaps I should start using it more often. Did you manage to track down the treasure hoarders? Everything I said was true, right? Actually... That just about sums it up. It turns out that you really were distributing emergency provisions. But they were all purchased at your own expense. Strange. Is that really the kind of person I was? I don't really have any such recollection. Even after all you've told me, I still don't remember anything. Why was I purchasing emergency provisions for everyone? And why would I put myself in such a difficult situation? <sighs> I really don't understand. Mm -hmm. But I could not deny that when I brandished my sword to scare those two away, I could sense that my body was somehow reluctant to do so. My, if we have a look? And this sword was once wielded by my father. I remember once when I was young, I wanted to sneak out with the blade and show it off to the kids next door. My father ended up catching me in the act and scolded me severely. What did he say? I can't seem to remember that either. It would seem that I forgot many important things when my vision was taken from me. So many memories gone. Forever. No matter Aww. how hard I try to remember, all I can remember now is my father telling me that this blade bore his life's creed. Protect Before the he people, passed away, maybe. Something around he placed line, the sword in my hands. And said to me, with this sword, you should. Hey, if you look carefully, there seems to be some words engraved on the hilt. Can you recognize the words? Virtue and justice. Virtue and justice? Somehow those two words seem to explain everything now. Taking on seemingly endless debts to make others happy. I guess that must have been my greatest ambition after all. But what use are virtue and justice? I purchased the provisions for those in need. 
And look how things ended up. The Tenryo Commission seized my vision. And the very people I was so desperately trying to help refused to understand me. And the irony of all of it is, I somehow still felt sorry when threatening them with my blade. I'm incapable of being a good person. Nah, yet you can. Able to be bad. Sadly, I, you got your half of your ambition myself. took away. Yet another troubled soul. When we get the chance, let's speak to Toma about Kurosawa's debt. The Yashiro Commission would surely help cover his expenses. In any case, we must never let him sell off that sword. Yeah, it's no trifling yeah. matter. Seems like losing all ambition is a terrible experience. Fortunately for us, you don't have a vision. Let's go find the next poor soul. Okay, the last one. Let's do this one before we end the stream for today. Alright? Up there. Hello, hello. The third person who had their vision taken is supposed to be a famous sword master around these parts. Uh, what happened? Hyman heard that he's the present day master of Make Your Shisui Art. Sounds pretty impressive. This is his dojo. Luckily, there's some people around. Let's go talk to them. Nanako, don't worry. Since they will be fine. Oh, no, he is not fine. Those thugs that challenged the dojo were strong, but he fought them all off in the end, didn't he? Maybe, but I'm still worried about him. Things have gotten dangerous before in the past, but it's never shaken him. This time, though... <sighs> it's just because he's been possessed, that's all. Once the exorcism has taken place, he'll be right as rain in no time. Hey there! Did something happen? Who are you? Mm. Don't care whether you're trespassers or just here to harass us while Sensei is impaired. Get out of here immediately! Don't make me draw my blade or you won't live to regret it. Oh, you really get no, that. You got it so wrong. Um, we just came here to. Uh... <laughs> we here to become disciples. Disciples? Uh, yep, yep. We've heard all about the mighty master of Make Your Shisui Art. It's the whole reason we came all this way. To seek him out and ask him to train us. But then we got here and overheard you talking about how he got possessed or something? Hmm. From the way you're dressed, it doesn't look like you're from around here. Please, accept my apologies. We've had so many people trying to cause us trouble recently that we're on high alert. You haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. Since they got possessed recently, and he's still recovering. Mm. He's not able to take on any new disciples for the time being. I'm not going back. I see you are earnest in your pursuit. <sighs> okay, how about this? My fellow disciple Nanako and I will explain Sensei's situation to you in a little more detail. Then you can decide whether to stay or to leave. Sensei's name is Domon. A name I'm sure you've already heard. Though self-taught, he mastered the art of the sword to a high level. He then proceeded to defeat many other prominent sword masters, never losing a single fight. He once said that his goal was to become the best sword master in the world. And so, even while training us, he continued to hone his own art. His fervor truly inspired us, and we trained hard, determined to keep up with him. But then... Not long ago, Sensei had his vision taken away. He hasn't been the same since. Aww. He says the strangest things over and over, and he refuses to let us train. Junya and I have discussed it, and, and we both think that he's been possessed by an evil spirit. So we've asked the Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine to perform an exorcism. But if I'm honest... I still have my doubts over whether he'll completely recover. Yeah, he will not okay, recover. Narukami Shrine? What's that? You haven't heard of it? It's the largest Do shrine I have on to Narukami go up there? Island. 
The head shrine maiden is reputed not. to have very close ties with the almighty shogun herself. Not that we'd have any means of involving the head shrine maiden, of course. But even one of the ordinary Wait, shrine if, maidens from the Grand Nelicon Shrine would have clear power and authority to up the exorcism. So don't worry, Nanako. The Ping Ha Miko. What is her name again? The exorcism will take place this evening. Something Miko. I don't remember her name. Come and watch she up there, interested. right? So losing your vision can cause possession? I uh, guess we should come back this evening and see for ourselves. So okay, we at evening already. Good. Shh. So you decided to come. It's a good thing you didn't arrive any earlier. You would have had to witness Sensei one of his fits of madness. Just now, when Nanako was attending to him, she heard him whispering a few names to himself. When she asked him who the people were, he suddenly looked panic-stricken and pushed her away. It looked like he was in great distress. He was covering his ears and looking frantically around him with bloodshot eyes. All the while, he kept calling those names. Some of them we knew. Others we didn't recognize. But they all seemed to be the names of sword masters he had defeated in the past. Aww. One of them was Anzai. He used to be a fellow disciple of Sensei's. His senior, in fact. But Sensei defeated him in a duel many years ago. And he has been a wanderer ever since. Sensei wouldn't stop calling his name. <sighs> oh, the shy man is here. Managed to subdue him. So the exorcism can finally continue. The ritual has now begun. All we can do is patiently await the result. Here's hoping Sensei will be back to his normal self very soon. Please, excuse me for a moment while I fetch some water. If he wakes up, he is sure to be thirsty. Hmm? Uh, who are you? Okay. Yay, Miko! Right, the uh, the name of the pink hair girl, the friend friend of Laden. Yay, Miko! I think. Is this definitely the right place? Let's look a little further up. I don't know if she playable or not. Maybe she is right. How? How did you catch up with me? So quickly. Um, you are old. Are you sure you're Dolmon's disciples? You move even quicker than he does. Unless... I guess it's been a few years. Maybe his skills have improved again. Um, excuse me! We're the ones asking the questions here! First off, who are you? And what are you doing sneaking around these parts? Hmm? You seem like... <laughs> Bad news, mister! Bad news? <laughs> I'll have you know I trained side by side with Domon back in the day. Long before you ever showed well, up. Well, even if you trained with him I yesterday, that is that wrong before anymore. we showed up. But if you must know, I am Domon's senior. His senior? Wait, that means you must be... Anzai. Yes, that's me. So why did you run? Because I don't wish to see Dolmon or anyone else associated with him ever again. When we were young, we trained under the same sword master, studying Make Yoshi Sui art together. I had begun training five years before him, and everyone looked up to me as a steady and dependable older disciple. Practitioners of Make Yoshi Sui art seek to achieve stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. So the majority of disciples are indifferent to rank and reward. I was no exception, but Domon was different. The first thing he did when he joined was go straight to our sensei and ask him, with a beaming smile <laughs> on his face, how to become Okay, that the guy best is really ambitious. Sensei scolded him and told him that the art of the sword should not be used for such vain ends. Sensei said that coveting the title of the best sword master, barely days into his training, showed that he had a fickle mind and that this would impede him from ever mastering the blade. 
I thought so too at the time. But Dolmon began making swift progress in his training and even started catching up with me. Only then did I realize that it was Dolmon who had long since freed his mind from all agitation. He was consumed by his singular desire to become the best in the world. He sought nothing less than perfection in the art of the sword. And nothing could deter him from this goal, no matter what stood in his way. Okay, so he lost sure that like he meant focus business. and now he so how is come you don't want suffering. To ever see him again? Because until he arrived, I was convinced that I would succeed our sensei as the master of Mekyo Shisui art. Of all the disciples, I was the most gifted. I had trained the longest. Everyone had high expectations for me. Dolmon's arrival changed everything. When we sparred, I lost not just the match, but my pride and my status too. I fled the dojo that oh, day and no. never looked back. Why? Later, I heard that he sparred with Sensei too. Sensei was advanced in years by then, and unfortunately that match used up every last ounce of energy in his body. After that I wanted nothing further to do with him. Deep down, though, I still respected his mastery of the blade and his commitment to the art of the sword. So, when I heard rumors that he had lost his mind, my first reaction was to dismiss them as false. How could he, of all people, have lost his mind? His mind was the sharpest of them all. He had practiced make Yoshisui art to perfection. I decided to quietly come and see if it were true. Then... To my complete astonishment, I heard him call my name. I thought mine was a name he had long since forgotten. So you see, I came here not to cause him any harm. I just wanted to see for myself. Okay, you've heard my story. You should get back now. The exorcism is probably finishing. Hmm, seems like we got it wrong this time. He wasn't here to mess up the exorcism at all. Still, Paimon's not sure we should bring him back with us. Uh, let's go see how the exorcism's coming along. Okay. Hey. Oh, you're not Miko. You are Miko, but not what? yeah, Miko. Y you're saying he isn't possessed? Does that mean that he's just lost his mind? But h h how is that possible? No, no, I refuse to believe it. Something's clearly wrong. Monaco, please, try not to get agitated. I am sorry. With what powers I have, I can find no sign of any malignant spirit having possessed Domon. But spirits may take a myriad of forms in this world, many of which I cannot claim to have witnessed myself. Thus, I dare not rule out possession with complete certainty. And all is certainly not lost. For I received word not long ago that Lady Yai has taken an interest in your sensei's case. L Lady Yai? Is that the same Lady Yai that I think you mean? The head shrine maiden of the Grand Narukami Shrine? That's wonderful news! Then sensei will be sure to recover. Correct. Lady Yai is most Will she come indeed, here or have to go up to meet her? <laughs> in the that is the question. Evil spirits and a version of great calamities. I am unable to say for certain whether an evil spirit has possessed your sensei. But Lady Yai can give a conclusive verdict. Excuse me, Miss Inagi. But I must ask, should we prepare a greeting gift for Lady Yai? That won't be necessary. All that is required of you is your timely arrival uh, we have to at go the up Grand there. Murakami Shrine. Lady Yai does not like to be kept waiting. I must leave now, but we will meet soon at the shrine. I wish Domon a full and speedy recovery. Oh, this is a long quest. Lady Yai herself would have taken notice of our sensei's case. Do you mean to say that sensei isn't renowned enough to deserve Lady Yai's attention? No, no. That's not what I meant at all. You misunderstand me. I just mean this is Lady Yai, the head shrine maiden. She has direct and close contact with the almighty shogun herself. Uh -um. Anyway, you should join us too, tomorrow. Given that you've traveled all this way just to meet our sensei, we, the disciples of Mikio Shisui Art, would do our best to help you. Okay. Sure. After all, everyone 
everyone seems pretty excited about Lady Yae. We're curious to meet her, too. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find out a thing or two about the Raiden children from her. Certainly, that is way... This is really long quest compared to the last one. Um, if I want to go there... Okay, we can go up from here. Yeah, if we go up this way, right? From the map, this should be the correct way. Never mind. By the way... Why is that? Do as they please. This one. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Wrong one. Anything else? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, more of this electric bug. Okay, I have to cram anyway. I thought it's gonna be like a um, well maintained road to go up. Looks like it's not. Okay, how do I do with that? T. I see. Thank you. Ah, something with which to commemorate this occasion. Damn, this electro. Oh, how? Uh. Um. Huh? Ah. Okay. T T T T. Um, that way, I think. How do I get up more than that, though? I can't use that one. Uh, T, 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 T. Oh. Well, we almost reached the top, so that's fine, right? Look like I climbed the wrong mountain. Go for the top, and we might be able to jump to where uh, yeah, you may go inside. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it should be over there. Where do I use this thing? Ah. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Alright, we are here. Oh, need to go up. Oh, that's a fox in the shape of a tree. You say that in front of also, her face. Is it just Paimon? Or did she look right at us just now? 
It was probably nothing. It's not like she's ever seen us before. Keep away. Keep away from me. I gave up the art of the sword. Please, let me go, I beg you. As you can see, Lady Yai, Domon has persisted in this state for some time now. He appears to see those who have lost to him in duels past, gathered all around him to persecute him. Lady Yai, it must be a possession, right? This is nothing like him at all. In the past, no matter what came his way, he would so always face it with a, a confident smile. Yay. Hmm. Know what happened or not. I'm sorry. It is clear to me that your sensei is not possessed by any evil spirit. But... Then d does that mean he... Hmm. Yes. This is a change in the person himself. Unable to cope with the tremendous pressure he was under, he suffered a spiritual collapse. With his wits impaired, he finally descended into so madness. So she doesn't know As one who is thrown into the sea, though he fights back lying. desperately against his predicament, it does nothing to prevent his descent into the depths. As for what has triggered this change, I believe it must be oh, so the he loss knows, of she his knows, vision. She knows. For to be stripped of one's vision is to be stripped of one's ambition. Stripped of his ambition? But Lady Yai, even without his ambition, well, it's why not just he had, suffer it, such a dramatic his change? His ambition, his memory too. How to... does that explain his descent into madness? Your school practices make you shisui art, does it not? Stillness of mind, freedom from all agitation. <laughs> what a fine notion that would be if any in this world could ever hope to achieve it. There was once one who claimed to be indifferent to rank and reward and who fled enraged when defeated by his junior. <laughs> and then there was an aged swordmaster who was aggrieved enough that he crossed blades with the disciple he himself had taught. Then, what of the one who crossed blades with his own sensei and beloved fellow disciple and defeated them both? <laughs> Can one truly remain unagitated of still mind in moments such as these? Lady, I, I, I'm not sure I understand. Oh, the path of the sword masters filled with twists and turns. It is no small undertaking to pursue the position of greatest sword master in the world. It requires one to take their sword firmly in both hands and cut down the hopes and dreams of others, even those of one's closest companions. Only a deep commitment to his ambition to become the best made it possible for him to rise above the pain of these encounters, to focus on the way ahead. When that ambition disappeared, he began to doubt himself. As he battled his growing anxiety, he slowly descended into the state you see him in now. <laughs> Much like a certain fatally flawed friend of mine. Oh, Poor are you talking sensei. about Leiden? To think he's been suffering so greatly. I'm sorry. It's all my fault, Father. Sensei. Onsai. That's enough. Huh? Is it that Onsai? Where did he come from? Did he follow us the whole way here? Onsai. I think that is Yai, maybe? Is that you or a ghost? You're here for revenge. Oh, it's you? not Yai, it's from the different. I never should have. Different door. You're right to assume that my feelings towards you are far from kindly. <sighs> but I didn't come here to settle a score. It's been so long now that I made peace with it years ago. You did nothing wrong that day. I just. I couldn't face the humiliation. That's why I ran. I don't think most of the people you beat along the way would hold it against you. On the contrary, when you cut our ambitions short, we entrusted them to you in the hopes that they might carry you further. Now I know that we can't place our hopes in you any longer, since you've been stripped of your ambitions too. But that is no reason to strip them of theirs. Follow the way of the sword all the way to the highest peak. You taught them that, didn't you? But what if one day, the same thing happens to them? I put everything I had into trying to become the best. But what if it was all a huge mistake right from the start? If there's a chance they'll end up like me one day, I'd rather they stay where they are now than go any further down this path. Have you asked them what they think? Sensei, after you rescued me from the hands of the pirates, 
I told myself I would follow in your footsteps for the rest of my days. I can't know whether I will suffer in my future as you do now. All I know is that here and now, in the present, I wish to continue. I want to keep going until the day that I can stand before everyone with my head held high and announce that I, like my sensei Domon before me, am a master of Makioshi sweet art. Aww. Aww. far from the only one. Actually, all of us think that way. Goodness. Well, I... You see? You can place the ambition you once had in their hands. Being stripped of your ambition is something that's never happened to me, so I can't claim to understand it. But I do know what it feels like to have your ambitions crushed. That's what happened on the day that you so effortlessly defeated me. So, just as I once placed my ambitions onto you, it is time for you to release yours into their custody. You are not in the same position that I was. Hi. When I left, <laughs> well, I had name. nothing to my name. But you have a great number of worthy disciples. I... I understand. I'm sorry to have made you worry for me and for the state of Miyakiyoshi Art. I no longer have the resolve to become the best in the world. The emptiness and suffering inside of me will not abate, so I cannot hope to still my mind and be free of agitation. But as your sensei, I shall commit to imparting unto you everything I have learned in my life so far. This is my promise. And I humbly ask Anzai, my senior, to hold me to my word. You can count on that. I'd be checking in on you occasionally anyway, just to make sure you hadn't lost your mind again. But I am now used to the life of a wanderer. I do not belong in the dojo anymore. So I will simply stop by once in a while to make sure you aren't cutting any corners. We talk with them. from well, morning stand there staring to at me. night. <laughs> Say thank you to Lady Yai and then get yourself back home. Yay. So even though his ambition was taken away, his disciples can take it over on his behalf. Guess that sort of solves this one, huh? Uh huh. Traveler, a moment, please. Lady Yai has some words for you. So, my intuition was correct. The wind that blows from afar carries fresh life to these shores. Hello. For us to meet now is premature. Nevertheless, you set foot on these islands at precisely the right moment. What do you mean? Hmm, I have high hopes for you, child. Don't disappoint me. Ooh, Lady Yai seems to have taken a real interest in you. She seems super mysterious. Paimon's so curious what she really meant by all that. Hmm, we can come back to it another time. For now, we should go report back to Miss Kamisato. Yay, they finished this act, and I can go to sleep. <laughs> It's been so late. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, more five hours. I never stream. Well, I, I used to play the game longer than this, but that is like years ago. For example, Elden Ring when it was released, I played like twelve or twenty hours straight. Oh, hello there. <laughs> I heard that she is the best healer in the game, right? Traveler, Paimon. It is a pleasure to finally meet you both face to face. <laughs> Either her or the other one, for Homi. I don't remember. My sincerest thanks to you. Well, we didn't help at all. Short of getting them their visions back, it seems like there's no way to really help them. Um, Ayaka, 
How come this time you get to come out and meet us in person? <laughs> because now that you have done the three things I asked of you, I consider you to be my friends. As you will observe, easy. I dispense with the screen for Toma also. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. But isn't Toma your, um, servant? Paimon's happy to help and all, but Paimon <laughs> sure as heck did not sign up to be a servant. Oh. <laughs> Paimon, you are most entertaining. Toma is first and foremost my friend, and was so before he ever became my attendant. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Ayaka, you seem pretty different out in the open <laughs> compared to how you are behind the screen. Hmm. All right, we can be friends. Friend request accepted. <laughs> Thank you both kindly. We don't want to be a friend Back with a Hugo, right? You have now witnessed the pain of those deprived of their Especially visions. the rich one, too. What are your feelings <laughs> on what you have seen? Nah, I'm joking. I seem to be faced worse than dead. Perhaps in the eyes of a deity such as the almighty Shogun, the lives of those who inhabit the world are inconsequential. Thunders roar, lightnings flash, the winds assault, and the rains descent. All these things take place with no regard for the feelings of the common people. But I believe that surely you understand what they must endure. Mm -hmm. It seems that perhaps now you can appreciate my feelings on all of this. In which case... Perhaps you would be willing to reconsider your stance? Well, I will help. You will? Really? But you need to keep your promise with Naturally. me. Naturally. <laughs> all right, bravo, my lady. You were right all along. See? I told you she wouldn't reject them. I placed my trust in the right person after all. Now then, given that the remainder of our discussion pertains to matters of a more... confidential nature... Perhaps we can move to the Kamori Tea House? We ought not to involve other members of the Yashiro Commission. Okay. Oh, we go there right away with our walking. Nice. Well, I love that. Again. Please continue without me. I'll keep watch. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? What makes it your favorite meeting spot? This is a land that was gifted to the Yashiro Commission by the Shogun. The Kamisato clan has the exclusive right to plan, build, and repair any property on this land. Aww. And even to allow or deny access. Such privileges exist due to the Yashiro Commission's role in managing ceremonial affairs. Oftentimes, it is not appropriate to discuss details in front of bystanders. Gotta keep a bit of mystery, right? Mm -hmm. Once the number of ceremonial affairs conducted in the city began to decline, our forebearers built a tea house here. Only members of the Yashiro Commission are permitted to come and go as they please. Makes sense. Perfect place for a secret base. In any case, we can talk freely here. I presume you have a few questions that you wish to ask me? Hmm. What kind of god is Light and Shogun? Is no one else fighting the decree? Have you raised a formal objection to the decree? Of course. We have tried on numerous occasions. Unfortunately, each time a proposal to repeal the decree arrives at Tenshikaku, it is promptly vetoed by both the Tenryo Commission and the Kanjo Commission, and subsequently scrapped. Aww. They invariably adopt a stance of unconditional support for the Shogun's decisions. They have no interest in discussing anything. It almost makes one wonder whether they had a hand in the Shogun's sudden decision to issue the Vision Hunt Decree. Hmm, that is suspicious. What type god is Lydon? The Almighty Shogun. I have seen her on but only a few occasions. Most of them formal ceremonies. She inspires awe commands respect, and exudes a sense of absolute authority. But as I recall, there was something else about her that struck me even more deeply. It was her almost complete lack of any emotion. In that sense, she appeared to me to be less of a ruler and more of, well, an executive official, That mine, that mine, don't worry, that mine. Focused exclusively don't look to on your, a single at goal your PC. of implementing eternity. <laughs> 
acting accordingly without feeling. Uh, is there no one else fighting the, issue the decree? Is this. For the vast majority of people, the Vision Hunt decree is something that has no implications whatsoever. After all, it is but a tiny minority of people who receive visions. Moreover, it is not unknown for visions to spark jealousy in others. Because of this, the attitude of most people towards the Vision Hunt decree is one of indifference. How can they be like that? <gasps> Paimon's getting mad! Aww. Nevertheless, in addition to us, there was also the resistance on Watatsumi Island. Resistance? You mean like an army fighting against the decree? Yes. Mm -hmm. Many who have lost or fear losing their visions have rallied together under Sangonomiya on Watatsumi Island to form a resistance group. Um, sorry, my feel like my headphone is not connected properly. Sangonomiya. Historically, there has always been some conflict between them and the shogunate of Norokami Island due to their different belief systems. But oh, I yeah, do yeah, wonder yeah, yeah, whether yeah, yeah. there may be some other sorry, agenda sorry, behind sorry. their resistance movement beyond merely fighting the Vision Hunt decree. Okay, I have no further question. Oh, oh, Paimon has a question, though. Oh? Hmm? What would you like to know, Paimon? Have you got a plan yet to fight the Vision Hunt Decree? To be honest, we do not. Aw. What? Please, do not forget that challenging the Vision Hunt Decree is tantamount to challenging a deity. Coming to terms with that is already a difficult step to take. Well, for the moment, all we can do is try and reduce the harm that is being caused by this decree. For example, by providing vision bearers with safe refuge, or manufacturing counterfeit visions for them as a contingency measure. You're telling Paimon that there are people out there who can make fake visions? Oh. Don't underestimate the talents of the craftspeople in Hanamizaka. To the naked eye, their counterfeits are indistinguishable from the genuine article. Must be where Wendy went. The problem we are facing right now is that Master Masakatsu, who was providing us with counterfeit visions, has recently been arrested by the Tenryo Commission. Oh no. Darn! So they found out about it? Ugh. Yes. We knew it was not a long-term solution, and that it was only a matter of time before it would be exposed. But we cannot simply abandon Master yeah, Masakatsu. He should be safe too. Exactly. I feel the same way. But given mine and Toma's identities as part of the Yashiro Commission, breaking him out of prison would risk dragging down the reputation of the entire Kamisato clan should we be caught. That would only serve to cast suspicion on any future so activity we might seek to attempt. So that is my job. <laughs> By no means do we intend to place the burden of such a task on your shoulders alone. When you are ready, go to Hanamizaka and look for a fireworks shop run by the Nagonohara family. There, you will find someone who can help you. Uh, what is her name again? Who used the... 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 the firework. I don't remember her name. She is fire elemental. She uses a bow and arrow. Have a bronze hair with short ponytail. But I don't remember her name. Just hand it over. You don't want any trouble with me. If you think your elemental powers are enough to resist the Vision Hunt decree, then you'd better think again. Believe me, you're not the first of your kind we've encountered, and we've seen the same unpleasant outcome time after time. You'd best save yourself the trouble. Uh, can't you make an exception? I just got this vision. I won't even use it, I promise. So this is the Vision Hunt decree in action, huh? We can't just sit around and watch things unfold, can we? Okay. Psst. Hey, wait. Huh? There's someone yeah, trying this to get girl. our attention. Come on, this way. Uh, what's going on? Can't you see we need to go help? Shh, quiet. Just a 
sit tight and watch for a moment. Hey, this isn't right, you know. Just because you don't have a vision doesn't mean you can sit back and watch others in trouble. Huh? Hey, wait. You do have a vision. Shh. If you don't have a voice, I won't have one much longer. <sighs> all right, all right. Here, take it. <laughs> Wise choice. All right, let's go. He gives them the counterfeit one, I think. What should we do now? He's already given up his vision. Doesn't he know what could happen to him after losing it? Uh, this is your fault. You're the one who stopped us from interfering. <sighs> Many thanks, Miss Yoimiya. Yoimiya. Okay, okay, okay. Just okay. now, I'm sure I would have lost it. No worries. You put on quite the convincing performance. Ah. Oh, so that's what's going on here. And to think Paimon was about to unleash Paimonial wrath on Miss Yoimiya. Paimonial. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, think nothing of it. I could tell from your reaction we were on the same side. You just didn't know it, you know? Oh, right. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Yoimiya, the current owner of Naganohara Fireworks. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> Great to meet ya. Practically everyone on Hanamizaka knows Yoimiya. She's the queen of the summer festival. Without her and her fireworks, summer on Narukami Island just wouldn't be the same. Whoa, that's quite the introduction. Paimon loves fireworks. It's nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> Stop it, Hanjiro. You'll embarrass me. As for thanking me, you'd be better off thanking Master Masakatsu. He's the one that gave me the fake visions in the first place. His handiwork allowed me to keep my own vision. Whew, I can't even imagine trying to run the business without it. Yes, Master Masakatsu is a good man. It's too bad good people seldom get the recognition they deserve. Master Masakatsu? Huh? Do you guys know him too? Um, yeah, we have to rescue him. You don't say. Then it sounds like the Shirasagi Himegimi has a plan. Awesome! I've been thinking about breaking him out too recently. But if I just march straight in there by myself, I'd probably get Miss Kamisato in a whole heap of trouble. <laughs> so, what about if I join you instead? Sure, welcome to the team! Ayaka told us to go look for help at a fireworks shop. She must have meant you! <laughs> Seems like I finally got a new job to do. Of you, know, besides hiding vision bearers in my shop, that is. <laughs> so... Master Masakatsu is being held at the police station. I thought you already called him a police station. Okay. Whoa. Talk about a reliable source. Seems we've got the right person on our team. Not bad, huh? <laughs> Let's go as soon as everyone's ready. Don't worry, Master Masakatsu. We're on our way. Time to break him out. Yay. Not today, though. It's too late already, so this will be continued next time. This is still Act 1, right? Okay, this act is so long. Next week, next week, next week we can continue this. Um, anything else? All oh, this thing. Ooh. Okay. And this achievement can ascend. Yeah, let's do that while we add it, right? Where? That's why we can't rank up any more than this, maybe? I don't know if the rank will be... The XP will keep powering up until we unlock all its view struck and not increase at all. So to be on the safer side I'm gonna increase will lang and then end the stream if you don't mind. Hello Hello guys, how are you guys doing?
Oh, I forgot about this thing. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Oh. Do you have to fight those things? Hope not. Well, we've seen we already here. Why not, right? <laughs> Music is nice. <laughs> Music is real nice. Play to bear. All right. Come out. As long as there are no fire elemental or fire mage, we are fine. Easy. Now we can find more, uh, more resort out in the wild, right? Gonna make farming for other, other character in our team easier, maybe. Uh, not this. Not this. Uh, I want to. Let's play one more song before we end the stream. Okay, this is our ending screen. Hello. <laughs> Great. I... Okay, let's try on pro. Should be fine, I think. It's gonna be much easier than whatever Alice showed me. <laughs> right. Yeah, at least it's only used to finger. Maybe. Ah, I miss. Ooh. Now the fast part, maybe? Hey. Oh, that nice! I love when people try to use modern instruments in classic music. Is that all? Okay. Easy. Bye.